Good morning to absolutely everybody in the world, at least the Eastern Standard Time. My name is Cameron. I've got my maple tea. I am a happy me. And we're playing Chicory. So let's get right into it. It's a game with a dog and a paintbrush. This way to continue. I'll continue. That seems like the right thing to do. Chapter 3. Portraits of Chicory. Chicory being the previous wielder of a magical, magical paintbrush. Speaking of magical, magical paintbrushes, where are my paintbrushes? My paintbrushes are back here behind Luigi. I gotta make sure I have my magical paintbrush. Metaphorically speaking, this is my, metaphor this is my metaphorical magical paintbrush. And I like it. Mm -hmm. Love this. Love this paintbrush. Probably. Ellipses, says Chicory. Uh, I mean, uh, Sushi Mac. That's my name. I'm Sushi Mac. I wonder if I should go back and talk to Chicory about this. You know, about the whole uh, demon dark eyes that are coming out of the darkness of these trees and stuff like that. It's, a, it's pretty terrifying, to be perfectly honest. I was rather terrified during the last boss fight, which was basically just eyes in the dark, the shooting lasers at you, and then things that looked like tentacles but were actually like bunny ears that were coming after you. It's definitely Chicory. Chicory's a bunny. I feel like Chicory may be directly responsible for this. So maybe maybe I should go talk to the source of the problem. I, I mean, the potential source of the problem. We don't know if she's actually the one who's causing things right now, but I have a working hypothesis. It does seem like a lot. I mean, I totally have this under control, but maybe she could tell me, uh, what's going on? Be pretty cool. The brush. Powered up, my bomb with the brush has now gotten larger, I guess. Now what can I do? Hold B to swim in my paint? What? Move quickly and fit through narrow gaps. Oh, what? So I can paint upon the gr Oh, it's a little... Did I already color this room? What color do I get? I don't I don't know what color. It's hard to tell what colors there are. I'm definitely painting the ground, but it's a little difficult to do. What button do I click? Oh, B. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I, I see. I already painted the area. Now I can like... Oh. I'm a paint surfer. I'm like one of those sandworms that can go through the ground, but except it's not sand. It's merely... It's paint. That's, that's pretty cool. And then I can pop out, just like this. Nice. That's really cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's paint the rest of this. I'm gonna see what what lies in the darkness. I've got my fluorescent paint, so I can see what happens if I do stuff like that. And then like this. Is there anything special on the wall? I don't know, there seems to be a good number of secrets in this game and collectibles, and I, I do like collectibles and secrets. Anyway, let's get on out of here. By the way, for those that are curious, my maple tea is brought to you by the state of Vermont, who's apparently very known for its maple syrup. And subsequently maple trees. It's like, it's nice. It's like, it's a, it's got a nice flavor to it. It's a, like, the part of the maple syrup that isn't the sweet part. It's just all the rest of the flavor. That's what it kind of tastes like. If that makes absolutely any sense at all. You know, the other day was actually pretty cool. In the sense that every once in a while, as I've been paying attention to, like, what I eat, what I drink. And by that, what I mean is, like, the flavors that I experience. Uh, that exist in, like, food and all that stuff and whatnot. Like, you start to notice the similarities between certain things. And what I kind of mean by that is like, oh, I can go underwater. I can go into the paint and go through these trees. Nice. And what I kind of mean by that is like, if you know what an apple tastes like, right? And you taste an apple pie, you might be able to distinguish between an apple pie or a pumpkin pie. Like, if you tasted either of them and you know what pumpkin or apple tasted like, you'd probably be able to tell like, oh, you know, this one's the apple pie, and this one's the pumpkin pie. Oh, look, there's something in here. Oh, just kidding. Oh. But so being able to kind of experience what you taste, like kind of really f taste it for what it is, uh, all the flavors that kind of jump out at you. Like, I would, to put things in a more specific way, what I'm referring to, oh, is this wielder wrap that I've got now, which is pretty cool. Nah, I like my hat. I like my hat. But like... 
The other day, Anna and I went out to a restaurant for her birthday, and it was lovely, and we purchased a plum wine to try. And as it turned out, that plum wine was very... It's actually a wine that we had tasted before. I didn't remember the taste of the wine, but it tasted a lot like these uh, cherries that I used to garnish some of the cocktails that I make. Um, they're not maraschino cherries or anything like that. Different kinds of cherries. I, uh, the brand's over there, and I could go grab them if there's enough interest for it. But they're like, they, they taste very candy-like. And apparently very plum-like. Because when I tasted the wine, I was like, oh, that tastes like the cherries I have back in my apartment! And then I checked what bot what the, the bottle of the thing. Oh, now I can go down the vines. Aha! That is very cool now. That's pretty on. It's pretty awesome pretty dope but yeah that's cool it's cool stuff like that that really gets me going wielder temple i should go back to the chicory actually let me see who can i call who can i call is it just my parents it's just call home just call home all right that's okay so i guess there ah uh, the advantage of painting the world around you is so that you can travel faster through it ah actually i don't think i move any faster do I move any faster? It does not appear that I move any faster. Okay. That's fine. There were definitely other vi- Oh. Hi, Peppermint. What's up, dude? Ah, well! I really love what you've done with the colors here! Picnic is looking better than ever now! You're welcome, buddy. Hey, would you like a piece of that color for yourself? Yeah, let me make a little, tiny, just like, let me get a little closer. Yeah, there you go. Now you've got a little piece of the color with you. You're welcome. AP foothills. Oh, can I like... No, I still have to bounce myself up. That's okay. That's that's fine then. But I know there was some sort of vine thing. Maybe somewhere around here? For chance? I thought there were vine things. Somewhere around here. Uh, I cannot take care of these rocks. Oh, if, unless I had a bomb thing. Oh, but the bomb thing over there is if I come up from the top, I can bring them over there, explode the rock there, and explode the rock down there. But I need to get up there first. So let's see if there's a vine over here that I may utilize to enter the next thing. Yes! I think I can go through here, right? Yes. I'm in I'm so inclined to believe so. Let's test the hypothesis. Can I go up this plant? No. I cannot. Bounce. Ba oh. That's fine. That's fine. Bounce like this. And then bounce like that. And then uh, absorb into the paint and go downward. Yeah. Yes. Yeah! Oh, maybe not. What if I just paint it all red over here? And then I kind of like snake my way. Can I snake my way? Cannot snake my way. That's fine. That's okay then. So apparently that's not what I want to do. What if... Oh, please go back upward. If I can go this way. I'll color this area all in a certain color and then go to the right. Maybe I can go that way. Can I? No, it does not appear to be possible. Okay. Um, well, I had an idea. And there goes that idea. That, there goes that one. I'm going to skip my way back over here. And continue on with my life, I suppose. Got to go find Chicory. I should go find Chicory. Yes, now, let's go find Chicory. Let's make some progress. Let's make some progress today when it comes to... Just, we're not just trying to paint the world or anything like that. We're trying to make a difference, right? Although, honestly, if, if our shtick is... Wanting to paint the world, and that's that's just it. That's just that's your mantra. That's just what you want to do. Then that's totally okay too. Sometimes we all just want to paint the world around us. I see a redwood, and I want to paint it black. I see a beautiful landscape, and I want to paint it black. Potluck, are you still couscous? Are you okay now? Maybe not. <gasps> is it true? The path to elephants is cleared. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> what a relief! I can't wait to go back to my family! Bye, Couscous. No, You're welcome, buddy. Any y'all got to say anything in here? No? Just salt with the gift exchange, shirt exchange, pants exchange, shoes exchange, exchange exchange. It's okay. Uh, la 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 la. Anybody else to talk to? I've been, I've been informed that I should talk to more people. Oh, wait a minute. I see a little... Uh, oh? Oh? No, hold up a second. Can I? I? I feel like I can go in there with my new powers of paint excursion. Paint explosion? Hey, what are you doing in that tree? Get out of there. Oh, now I can do this. Yeah! Collect another lost child. 
Oh, it's it's blue down here. What, what can I do about that? Oh, litter. Ain't no litter around my sea banks. I'll fix that. I can fix that. You got litter problems? I got them too. So give all your litter to me and I will fix your problems for you. Oh, hey. Am I in a new area? This feels new. I don't know. Maybe it's the same place as before. <gasps> Broccoli. I study and teach art history here. Oh, is that the guy from before? I don't remember. My memory's shot. Recent events have proven to be quite a crisis. We never anticipated such a sudden drastic loss of color. So many old weird artworks have vanished all at once. For some pieces, all we have are black and white reproductions. Aw. Generally, wielder colors do fade, but very, very slowly. Slowly enough that you'd barely notice in a lifetime. That's something we know thanks to the work of Dr. Cheese. Not Senior Swiss, Dr. Cheese. Not Mr. Monterey, Dr. Cheese. It's always why we need wielders to occasionally touch up old works. I, I suppose you've got your work cut out for you. As a historian, I've got a lot to do. Reviewing everything we've lost and preserving what we can. Everyone at the Art Academy is in a frenzy, I can tell you that. If you ever have a chance to stop by there, well, I I'm sure you have your own problems. <laughs> yeah, I got problems. But I'll fix your problems at the cost of my own patience. Because that is the power that the wielder has. That is the responsibility that I must take on. Misa, you've gotten so much taller! Sushimak is still really short. I'm almost done with school now. Oh, well, that's cool. I can't believe you grew up so fast. Well, I can't believe my old babysitter is the wielder. Remember staying up late watching scary movies? Oh, yes. My parents would never show me them. But I loved scary movies so much. I... Do I appreciate a nice scary movie? I do appreciate a nice scary movie. I'm not terrified of them. That would just be a completely incorrect statement for me so i like him that's why you were undoubtedly the coolest babysitter i want to work in public service after i graduate i think i'll move north to dinners maybe work at province hall if i'm lucky wow so important well good luck with that miso thanks you're very welcome i'm happy to provide a service of comfort cherishness tranquility to the citizens of Whatever town I'm in right now. I don't exactly remember what town this is. Oh, it's very nice maple tea. I, I mean, I don't know where I am to be from. Oh, yo! Oh, Sushi Mac! Wait a minute, is this... It's my mom! Oh my god! Hi, mom! So, it's true then? Chicory really gave you the brush. Yep! Oh, Sushi Mac, that's incredible. You always talked about wanting to be like her. I'm so proud of you. Thanks! You must be so busy. Well, I won't keep you. Don't be afraid to call anytime, okay? I will not be afraid. Dane! daddy -o. So, how's the wielding going? You, you... Are you winning, kiddo? Your ma and I worry about you, you know, but maybe we worry too much. I'm sure you know what you're doing. Thanks, Dane. The shop's going all right. Folks who always love holies. I don't think I can ever look at one again. Used to bring home so many holies. Holy mackerel, how many holies. Ah, oh, I made you sick of holies. I still like them. You know, I always figured, since your sister was the artist, that maybe you'd run the holy shop someday. Dad, I don't even like holies. Sounds like you just need more of them. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, really. Uh, but really, kiddo, uh, sometimes work ain't about what ain't about what you love. Sometimes it's just a thing you do. Well, I like what I'm doing. You're a good one, kiddo. Whatever you do, I know you'll be fine. Is there more to talk to mom about? It's good to see you, Sushi and Mac. Are you doing okay with everything? Are your teeth clean? Have you been brushing your teeth with your wielder paintbrush yet? Don't think just because you can color your paint, your color your teeth white, that that makes them clean. Did you pick up your transit ID yet? Oh, mom. Uh, of course I have. I totally did. You're still a terrible liar. You've been one for good. You've been of age for years now. Take care of that in dinners after your wielder duties. I can't believe you're really a wielder. <laughs> Dad and I didn't know that it wasn't even an option. For um a cleaner, uh, if anything, we thought it might be your sister someday. Uh, well, still could be, I suppose. What a talented family. We're so blessed. 
<laughs> if you ever lost or aren't sure what to do, you, you can always call us here. You know our number. Just use a phone booth. I didn't realize that you were my sister, Clementine. Interesting. Express joy. Express joy. Dad. Mom. Clementine. Hey, Sushi and Mac. Told you I'd take this painting home. It's really nice. Plus, I was sick of staring at my own art here. Like, now when I'm home to see this, I'll, I'll, I'll see this and think of you. Aww. Express joy. Oh, it actually shows me painting it. That's cute. Oh, that's really cute. You get to see the fire being made and everything else and the fires of an artist spirit and stuff like that. That's very cute. I think this piece makes me think of the fire and demons within. I feel like every every artist has a demon inside their soul or demon demons inside of their heart. And these are the demons. These are the hearts and those are the demons. The demons are the fire. The hearts are the heart or the soul, depending on what you believe where consciousness is. Want to save a gif? Sure. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm saving gif. I'm saving gif. Oh, look at that. Okay. Express love gif. I'm gonna, I'm gonna type that in. Express love gif. Express love. Express love. Nice. Uh, now time to get back into the game. There we go. It like popped out a file explorer window for a moment there. That's pretty cool. Boop. Boop. I make the house plenty colors. If there's any house that deserves to be colored, it's this house. The house of my dear parents and sister. I think that is the best thing to do. I want everything here to be like a nice green and yellow, a little bit of red, and the most bombastic colors should be the telephone and things on the wall. Or perhaps the wall itself. Oh, that's a new color. That's a different one. It's like a yellowish. Yeah, I like that. And then, uh, my sister's bombastic. So she gets the other red. Yeah. I love you, parents. Actually, my whole family's bombastic. My whole family bombastic? Bombastic red? You red. Now you red. Now I red too. Yeah. Family time. It's in our genes. And then, of course, big red house for the big red family with big red faces. I hope that I can find a more, like, crazy red in a different area. Because this is a very nice... It's like a pale, like, almost rose-ish red. Like, pale rose. It's cool. It's cool. It's good. But it could be better. Clementine, how can you be in two places at once? Mom and Dad really miss you. Like, they're scared of when I finally move out. They're gonna be really lonely. Aww. How's luncheon? Oh, this is luncheon. That's where I am. It's okay. It's fine. Never got out much, to be honest. Same. They're busy with art. It's, uh, it's the life. Art is the life that you want to live. What are you, Radish? Sitting over here being like, I know I come off as rude because I see things the way they are and I'm not afraid to say it. That's why I'm going to be honest. Anyone can be an artist, uh, but to be the best, that takes hard work. You can't just cheat your way there. Got that? Can't just do it like that. You can't. Quinoa? Hmm, the master gallery in 11 seats is cleared. Well, have to recreate the missing art here. Join us for class and your studies could refill wiped canvases. Which, speaking of, class is about to start. Want to join us? I'll pass this time, Quinoa, but I will be back at some other point, I am sure. But before I do that, red. I'm gonna paint the roses red. Paint the roses red and paint everything red. Can I talk to all of you? Oh my god. What's up, Grits? Caleb's always getting lost somehow. Poor kid can barely make it to the holy shop from here. But I think he made it to lunch and back this time. Maybe he ain't just a kid anymore. One time, Turnip went to grab some holies. Uh, and, and he just didn't come back. Um, and I'm like, the holy shop is right there. Apparently he got scared by a bug. And then he wound up halfway across Picnic. That's classic turnip. He finally came back with holies of the dead at night. <laughs> I was too guilty to tell him I'd already went and got some on my own. So we had a lot of holies. It's a big family, isn't it? But I've always been the baby. They were always on my case about getting lost and needing help. Which did happen again this time. But I was so close. Basically... I've always wanted to be in charge of something important. That's why I was excited to talk about the wielder at the temple. But what 
do you think? Did, did I do a good job? Did I do like really? I, I value your opinion, dear wielder. Please come back. Don't leave me. Treagle. We didn't fix the wielder temple. Good stuff. But we noticed it's still a bit spooky. Is that like gonna go away? I don't know, dude. I'm new to this job. Uh, I just got my brush the other day, and I honestly couldn't tell you. Hmm. Well, I guess it's a fun, spooky museum now. The Wheeler Temple has always been good for a nice visit. Yes, with all the art and history, now it's a museum and a haunted temple on one. The joy of art and the terror of ghosts finally brought together. I like, I like your enthusiasm. I really do. If I paint this whole area, is there any places to go, like, behind the houses? I don't know, this new ability of being able to, like, just kind of surf anywhere is so new to me. No, it does not appear so. But, I will attempt to use this to my advantage. Hey, Brussels Sprout, Guac, and everybody else. What's going on? How's it going, Guac? I appreciate you stopping to listen. Maybe the young folks are doing all right after all. Why don't you take this? Awesome! An old man gave me trash! My favorite. Um, thanks for that. I can't wait to figure out what to do with this. Brussels sprout, what about you? I'm so excited for the new color special. I've eaten every single color special. Every single one. My whole life. It never stops. And if I miss even one, it'd be like I failed. It Call it brand loyalty. I call it obsession. Okay, Brussels sprout. Cantaloupe. I love the color specials. I don't even like holies that much, but there's just something so special about the colored ones. Like eating magic. I, I think bugs like eating colored too. I, I totally get it. I just like them. If you color it, you could probably make me eat anything. Would you... Would that mean you'd also eat turnip? Would you eat me? Eat me! Or don't. Everyone loves the new color specials. Chicory wasn't around so much, so the design hadn't actually changed in a while. It's exciting to have a new one. Thanks again. You're welcome. The color extraction process is complicated. Dr. Cheese, not Senior Swiss, not Mr. Monterey. Dr. Cheese developed it at the color lab near Brecky. Honestly, I have no idea how it actually works. All I know is it's edible. People go nuts for holies with a splash of color. That's why they come here from all over. Dr. Cheese is definitely some kind of genius. Her work on color is such a gift to the world. Kind of a waste that we're using it just to make holies? I bet you could beat her someday as the wielder. That might be where I want to head to next, to find Dr. Cheese. This appears like a direction that I can go now with the power of my... I feel like there has to be a better name for this. Paint thing? Paint ability? Paint surf? It's like... I don't know. I'm like an inkling from Splatoon. I am an inkling. It's my inkling powers. That's that's what I'm gonna go with. It's my inkling powers. My powers to be to do what inkling people do. Hey, a bridge. That's cool. I like the concept of perhaps the bridge being one color that connects two other related colors. I like that. That's a fine aesthetic. That's a very fine aesthetic. What's going on down here? What about over here? Is there trash? Oh my god, there's so much trash! I love trash! And a butterfly! And more trash! I don't know yet to do with the trash. Oh, I heard something meowing. Meow? <gasps> meow. There's a meow over there. Uh, come out of the trees, meowster. Oh, I can't really get in there. Can I go around from the other side? No. Oh, kitty cat in the tree again! Hi there, child! Come with me, lost child. I will take you to your leader. Your leader being your new foster parent? Oh, look. Hey, everybody. I'm back here again. Is that loss? On top of that house? Did I attempt to paint loss? I don't even remember what loss looks like. Peppermint, you're back again. This is my new favorite shirt! It's gorgeous! Exactly my style! I'm gonna wear it every single day until it falls apart! Okay. Pickle. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love this new shirt. It's probably the best shirt design they've had here. At least, for me, at least. I feel like it's totally my style. Thank you for making it. Now I can feel like myself wherever I am. Cool goat, dude. You're hanging out here now. Oats. A howdy to the stars. 
That's the outfit I'm looking for right now. Howdy to the stars. <gasps> howdy to the stars! I have... I got the howdy. And now I need the stars. Whoa! Your outfit is it, dude. It speaks to me. For that, here's something cool. Collagens. That's pretty cool. But I'm thinking looking for a new outfit now. The full moon. The outfit I'm looking for. Full moon. The full moon, the full Monty. What's so moonful over here? Anything moon? Can I just have nothing on? Can I not have anything on? Is that, a, is that an option? Nothing on my face? None. Okay. And something moon-like? That's a moon tea. Not the full moon. How to make things more full. Anything, 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 anything. Tinted shades, sun hat, nah, shades, scarf, none. Full moon. It's just moon. The full moon. That's the outfit I'm looking for. Well, I don't really get that right now, but that's okay, Oats. I will come back to you. Hello, everyone. Zucchini. <clears throat> if you must know, I'm writing a book. It takes a lot of focus and effort to do, and it's very hard with someone bothering you. Please. I came to luncheon because I've been stuck on my book. Because there's so much creative energy here. My ideas are finally flowing again. You're an artist. Surely you understand. I do. Cola, what's up? Hey, mate. Want to update your shirt design? Nah, I'm good. It seems to be incredibly popular so far, so... If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Is, is what they say. I don't know who they are, but... It's what they say. Chicory's up at the chicory place. Did I ever... Lemon... Things are just getting worse all the time. I'm trying to calm down a bit, but these horrible trees are sprouting closer and closer to me. What am I supposed to do about that? Um, I don't know, Lemon. Nobody's taking this as seriously as they should. First the color wipe, and now some spooky trees. It's like everything is crashing down around us. Lunch was supposed to be a safe place. I keep telling myself it's going to be okay, but it's hard to make myself believe it. It's okay, buddy. Um, can I just paint your house for you? I'm a nice blue. I know how to paint good now. I paint like real good now. So, is that okay? Is this okay? Here, calm. Head pets. It's okay. Calm down. You can retrieve head pets. It's okay. Hey, who did that? Oh, that's what that was you when I gave you the brush, Brett Pickle. <laughs> so you're really doing it, huh? Doing what? Being the wielder. I uh. Thought it was a joke at first. Well, it's not. Alright, that's cool. But, but, like, when's my turn? So, so does that mean, like, Chicory won't paint anymore? I really don't know. Hmm. Not the answer that I wanted. That's cool that you're the wielder, though, to be honest. It's like anyone can be the wielder, I suppose. It's really inspiration to the common, friendless folk, like me. I'm an inspiration to you? I'm not sure whether to take that as an insult or not. But you're welcome. You're very welcome. Chickory, what do you- Oh. Hey. Hey, Chickster. The Chickster? What's going on? Chickory Hickory? Like, the the, the chic hick- uh, uh, How you doing? Chickory! I wanted to ask about something. Um. But. Were you, were you painting out here? I was trying to. It's all coming out terrible, though. I need new ideas. Well, um, you could, uh, you could paint me. I mean, if you wanted to, it's not like I'm a very good model or anything like that, but I've been told that my skin is very red because I made it red. So if that's inspiration to you. Hmm. Sure. Okay. Really? That would be amazing. Um, well, especially, especially if you use the brush. Oh, you don't have to. I just, I just love your colors so much. I want to see them again. Well, okay, hand it over. Nice. Feels strange to wield this, to hold this again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really shouldn't have asked. Quit squirming around. <laughs> oh, how are you feeling? I 
I is in me or I is in Sushi Mac. I, for one, feel very comfortable right now. Sushi Mac, I feel like would be feeling a little, a little stressed out. I feel like Sushi Mac would be feeling a little, uh, it's been a lot lately. Feeling very stressed out, you know, power of the wielder, a lot of responsibility and stuff like that. There is so much more to being the wielder than I thought. I just hope I'm doing a good enough job. I know how that feels. Really? I mean, yeah. Why do you think I quit? Um, oh yeah, on a totally unrelated note, what's your favorite color? Personally, it's blue. It's, it's always blue. It's full blue. Full blue. Ooh, okay. I wish I was like you, Chicory. Oh? <laughs> Why? I care too much about what everyone thinks. I don't even know how to decide things for myself. I'm just boring. When you gave me the paintbrush, I felt like a real person for the first time. I want to actually be worth it. Worthy of it. Like you are. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm kind of a trash fire. B -b but you, you probably shouldn't look up to me. I'd much rather be boring. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm done with it. But, but I can't show it to you. Uh, unless you draw me too. Ha <laughs> no, I, I can't do that. It's only fair. Come on. All right. Time to attempt to draw the chicory. I feel that you are red. Fire. I'm gonna, first we're gonna go, first we're gonna go for the diamond. The diamond in the center of the wielder's cloak. It's a very mildly rhombus allure. I did not mean to do that. If I do this, will I be able to fill in just that area? Nope, it takes the whole darn thing. That's okay. Um, I can do a thing like this. Okay, I kind of like that. That's nice, that's nice. Remember that I can erase at any time. Erase? How do I erase? It's this button, right? Yes. Ah, I will refine the edges to be a little more rombuliser. Rom- rombular? Rom- y'all rombular. Oh, that's a- that's a stripe there. It's okay. You know what? Cloak gets the red. Cloak gets the red. Let's do that. I'm gonna bring that to the side. Cut it down very carefully. Very carefully. Uh, I wasn't as careful as I wanted it to be. That's okay. Honestly, I am not very used to drawing as it pertains to using two joysticks and triggers and stuff like that. I, I'm usually the type of person who draw. I think my preferred medium of artistic expression is probably drawing like with pen paper pencil and paper i've been trying at least in recent year i get i really haven't done it in a while to attempt to make like art on a digital platform like like this for instance or using like an image editing software or some sort of drawing program i actually got uh, quite a little while ago. I I've had this this uh, drawing tablet of mine for years and I'm only kind of sort of started playing around with it like for real zoos Just kind of connected it up to the computers and stuff like that And seeing Kind of connected it up to computers and seeing what programs I can actually use to connect that drawing tablet to I'm only mostly use a program called GIMP uh, It works works. Okay Works just fine. And the Wacom tablet that I have will attach to it. And I can make pretty pictures on it if I want to. Alright, this is... This is okay. I've got Chicory's bottom half. I'm cool with that. And let's see if I can bring it up this way. I hope I have enough for Chicory's ears. I like, too, that it's not just a static photo of Chicory. It's, a, it's her kind of swaying. Swaying and doing Chicory thing. Because, like, she's a real person. At least in the universe of this game. 
She is real, and she moves. She ain't no. St she's not static. We are such multifaceted creatures. I don't know why I've been. Huh. I do not know why I've just been using red. Red speaks to me. Red is a very bombastic color, and I like the color red. Not my favorite though. Let's go with my favorites. Let's try to see about using my other favorite color, blue, to complete perhaps literally anything else on Chicory. Like, like a little highlights for her eyes. Something like that. Yeah. I like this color scheme. It's, it's not, it's not good. I don't believe it to be good, but it is me. And I'm very happy about that. Me is exactly who it should be. I'm going to outline this down here for the legs and the, the, the crotch. And then between the legs and then the rest of the leg and pockets and top of pocket and bottom of shirt, undershirt, I suppose. Like that. That's fine. I feel that your ears should be a nice blue, perhaps going down the other way. They're in the downward position because I don't have enough space in the upward position. Chicory's got a very Pokemon vibe to her, I feel. Like, uh, the one... What's the bunny that kicks stuff? Not Lop Bunny. Not that Pokemon. The newer one. The new new starter Pokemon. With the... I don't, I don't exactly remember, to be perfectly honest. I have not played a lot of the recent Pokemon games. I want to in the future, if that's at all possible for me. But I don't have... I don't own a Switch. Not a Switch personally. So I would not be able to go and do that. Not as of right now. Oh, but didn't mean to switch like oh, bombastic green. Yeah. I was kinda give her the dots. Give her the dots all the way around. And try to see what we can do about that. It feels almost com I feel like this particular style that I got going here is feeling literally uh, it's like comic like. I'm cool with that. Like comics. I don't read a lot of comics. I got friends who read a lot of comics, and then they tell me what I've missed. Nope, that's the Okay, I want to go this this color, please. This color, and then make size big. There we go. Big and fast. Go around and try to fill in the rest of this stuff. I know I left a lot of white on the canvas, but I believe there is a, a point to be said about the fact that white is a very powerful color. Blank space can be more expressive than something that's drawn. Silence is golden. It can tell a lot about things. Anyway, that's my chicory. This is my chicory. Now I shall sign my chicory. Shall sign my chicory. Eww. Eww. That's my chicory. And I'm happy with my chicory. There we go. I like that. What a good chicory. Am I finished? I feel like I'm finished with that. It looks good. Okay. Now. Let's show. This is me and that's... Oh, that's really good. It's okay. Mine's pretty good too. It's it's satis it's satisfactory. <laughs> Aw. Thanks, Sushi Mac. <laughs> you really like it? Of course. <laughs> Thank you. I almost can't believe it. Versus that, which is beautiful, beautifully rendered. Can I even do that with the brush? I don't think that there's enough control on this joystick to be able to do something like that. If there is, I don't know how to do it. Oh, I got Chicory's portrait. It looks so beautiful. <laughs> Sorry, the colors are so random, and the line work is sloppy. Chicory, what do you what do you mean? It's wonderful. Thank you so much. I hope to be able to return the favor again with a better drawing of you. Wait a second. Were these spooky trees here before? You bring up a really good point, Sushi Mac. I didn't even notice that. Whoa. They are spreading fast. Faster than I thought. If it's too much for you to deal with. I can handle it. I can do it. I, as long as you believe in me, Chicory. I can handle anything. Okay. Uh, the nearest corruption is in Gulp Swamp. Good luck, Sushi Mac. Achievement unlocked. Muse. I am your muse. Do you really not like your own art, Chicory? 
I kind of hate it. I mean, sometimes I think I did okay. It's hard not to see all the mistakes. Do you like your own art? Uh, sometimes. Only a little bit. Yeah. It's hard to always feel like you nailed it. You can't just nail it every single time. So, you've met Blackberry. Mm-hmm. She was your teacher, right? You could say that. I don't think I was the student she wanted. She seems scary. She is, and incredibly skilled. I respect her a lot. I just wish I wasn't a disappointment to her. Was it really tough studying under Blackberry? Yeah. Before I met her, I used to be an art student. She came to the academy one day to evaluate us. She gave us intensely difficult assignments, then tore all of our pieces apart in class. What? She destroyed them? Uh, well, emotionally. For some reason, she picked me out to succeed her. I mean, I was ecstatic. It was all I ever wanted. But I bet she regrets it now. I don't know how I was supposed to follow up Blackberry. I liked your art better. Well, I'm pretty sure she didn't. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, you're going to ask me something at first? Ah, uh, um, that's okay. Thank you so much for drawing chick drawing for the drawing chicory. It's amazing to see myself through your eyes. Oh. Likewise. Okay. Good luck, Susie and Mac. Don't forget. Gulp Swamp to the south. Right. Um... Thanks for talking to me, Chicory. <laughs> uh, no problem? Yeah. Thanks, dude. I can't enter the tower anymore. That's fine. It's okay. Wow, to see how much I've evolved. I'm going to keep this drawing here. This is my drawing. I call it Iniquity. And uh, it's nice to see how much we've improved so far. Time to go down south. I already did that. Hey, beans, I got more things for you. Hey! Like my new lawn decorations? Just kidding. <laughs> with all the new kids, I decided to clean the house a bit. I don't even know what to do with all this crud. Uh, do you maybe? You want some? Uh, at least I can do for you finding those poor kids. You can put some stuff in your house. Or, uh, yeah, wherever, wherever you want, actually. Uh, hey, the cops. If one of these sets catches your eye, let me know. I want... I want the sweet set. Did you want to take that sweet seat? Yes, that sweet seat, that set of sweetness? Alright, it's yours. Nice, can I just take them all? If you uh, want to place those, press the start to open up the menu and access decor mode on the collection screen. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll be watching the kids inside. If you find three more, I'll move more stuff out. Nice. Thanks, beans. Go up swamp. Hey, look at that. Now I can get through the trees. But before I do that, I should make everything purple. Yes. A nice exquisite color. Now I want all the trees and whatnot to be purple. I would, mu oh my God, I can give that two-tone? Oh, <gasps> oh, that's so cool. All right, and the ground will be blue. The foliage and whatnot will remain a nice purple and green color. That is really cool. I did not know that I could do two-tone on those trees. I'll do the tops over here as well. Yeah, that's cool. I really like that. I'll dot some of these other ones. That is so cool. Little flower, nope, little flower. Yes, little flower, other little flower. Oh, that's so nice. All right, Gulf Swamp. Off to the left or most direction. And then Gulf Swamp or Sips River because you would take sips from the river. Oh, this is where I was before. Ah, give me that kid. I got plans for this kid. You're gonna go real far, kid. Promise. Um, what is this thing? This seems important. Can I? Can I? Can I? Nope. Ah, uh, I can't do... I can't get across that ledge yet. So this must be one of the next turn areas. Hey, what's going on down here? Hey, who are you? Beetroot? I like you. I'm gonna paint your floor green. And now we may converse like individuals. Hello, Beetroot. Everyone's got their hobby. As for mine, well, I'm kind of obsessed with cloning gifts. 
There are so many hidden across Picnic. It's an entire world that quietly exists alongside of ours. Amazing, right? Amazing, yes. I've pulled over Picnic and found all of them, I'm pretty sure. But I'd never actually take the clothes. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not that kind of asshole. I like waiting to see which get found. Last I checked, the place you visited with the most gifts is Sips River. There's still six gifts hidden there. Hope they find a happy home. My daughter's an artist too, by the way. I've seen your daughter. I don't remember her name. At the Potluck Art Academy. Oh, Radish. Radish is your daughter. Nice. That's probably why your name is Beetroot. Beetroot, Beetroot Radish. They're both bulb fruits. I don't know what type of food a radish is. What type of plant it is. I bet she'd love to meet a famous one like you. Oh, anyway. Last I checked, the place you visited with the most gift is Sips River. There's still six gifts, but I'm sure someone will find them soon. I can't help with that. Question mark? Hey, um, don't touch that. It hides an old family secret. Something that opens the way to treasure. Wait, I shouldn't say that. Probably makes you want to see it even more. Well, you shouldn't, and you can't. Maybe I have to collect all the gifts first in order to do that. Whatever! I'm sure Radish feels the same way. Whatever about the old family secret. I don't really care about the family secret. Who's in this tree? Nobody. I thought maybe. Can I go in there? That looks like an area that I can go. Right through there. No, it appears not. I was wrong, and I accept that. I accept my failures and allow them to exist in this world peacefully. <gasps> Blackberry! <gasps> and Lost Child! Come hither, lost child. I will bring you to your new home. The beans are calling for you. Or specifically just beans. His name is Beans. If I didn't make that clear already. I like this color. This is a very nice color here. Uh, is there a bombastic red to coat the ground? Yes. The Coat the ground with the blood of our enemies. That is a very nice color. It's like a watermelon. It looks like a watermelon. I like that color combination. It's like watermelon. Have I said watermelon enough? I've said watermelon enough. Hey, Blackberry. What's up, buddy? Oh! Blackberry! Hi there! You don't need to say anything to me. I know everything that's happened. And while I don't approve of Chicory's choices, it's no longer my place to decide what happens to the brush. Yeah. Well, what are you doing here? Investigating. This place has been corrupted as well. And I'm trying to understand. Just to what extent my student has failed everyone. You're saying it's all Chicory's fault? All of these corruptions happened while the brush was Chicory's. Actually, actually, technically speaking, they're all happening because I'm wielding the brush. During the time that I'm wielding the brush, to correct you there. It was her responsibility to deal with them. Before shoving the brush off onto someone else. Did you have to deal with things like this? Of course. Ellipses. Though, perhaps, never quite so serious. So you're being unfair to her? No. It means she should have taken extra care. Not to leave such a trial for a fresh new wielder. If you have such a problem with Chicory, then why'd you give her the brush in the first place? She's an exceptional talent. It's not that I don't believe in her. It's that I expected more, and I'm disappointed. Tell me. What do you think of my pupil? Personal, oh, let's see. We already know what Sushi Mac feels about her. She's super awesome. What do I think of Chicory? I don't think she's messed up. I think she's only human, so to speak. Just like the rest of us. We all go through really tough times sometimes. With that much power, I'm sure things will kind of get messed up. She doesn't bother me at all. People like that don't really bother me. Maybe the vibe isn't where it's at. But that's okay. For the aforementioned reason, it's okay to have bad days sometimes. Not sure? No, I'm definitely sure how I feel about Chicory. I like her. She's spunky. I like the spunk. You're wrong about Chicory. I think she's had a hard time. But she's not a bad person. She's doing the best she can. And I'm here to help her. Well, she's lucky to have you. There's so much about her I don't understand. Please be careful. That's all I can say. Alright, fine. 
Conversation over, Blackberry. Ooh! A pan flute! Pan flute and like a little synthesizer thing going on there? That's cool. That is totally vibe. I was actually listening to some of the soundtrack of Chicory earlier today before I started stream to kind of pump myself up. Lena Rain, mentioned it before. Wonderful artist, great music. Lena Rain was one of the artists whose music I would have going as I would go between classes last year while I was still class on campus. Oh, you know what I can do? I bet I can do this to lead the way, right? There we go, different colors to tell where it goes. I like that. But that's how, yeah, I would listen to her music. It was just very, it was very, very calming to me, to be honest. Um, that and other bits of lo-fi, which I kind of get into. I got into this like last year, year before maybe, and around the time when I started taking my grad classes and stuff and things got really, really stressful. A gardener, that's cool, but I don't want it yet. But around that time, I was getting like really stressed out and stuff and I needed like, all I wanted to do was feel relaxed and not take things super duper seriously so that I wouldn't feel like the world was falling apart constantly. So, I mean, it's, I just kind of started listening to like very vibe music that was very relaxing. It was a type of music that I felt I could light a candle to, turn the lights down to, and just exist to. And I like music that I can just kind of exist to, if that makes any sense at all. Like, that's the kind of music that I really enjoy listening to nowadays. It's kind of, I can use it as a baseline for whatever thoughts I may be having. I can think about things for a hot second, then not think about them for a hot second and focus on the music and whatever else there may be. But it's nice. And uh, some of the, a lot of the music by Lita Rain is, is like that for me, at least. Let's see, going this way to bounce. Ooh. Bounce this way? I want to be able to bounce up on top of there. Yes! Oh, sweet! Nice! I got Leafy! I like Leafy. I'm cool with that. Leafy green. I, I'm definitely... I'm in the... Oh, I got bounced over here. Get bounced back over here, and then I go over here, and then I do the thing over here, and then I do it again. Oh, just kidding. Oh, I understand now. What does this send me? Oh, it kills me. So don't fall into the water. I have now learned that from my failures. That's fine. I'm cool with it. It's totally chill, dude. Oh, and there's something special down there. Uh, but I need to get over there. This is to remind me that I gotta go down there. This is important because it's blue. Don't forget about it. If I forget, well, there will be no consequence to me, really. Why should I worry too much about it? There is no consequences. It's a video game. Oh, is there something in there? Hey, was there a child? Child! Young one, I shall name you Gregory. For no reason. No reason in particular. Can I get down there? I don't know if I can get down there. Oh, yes I can. Here we go. Then I go down and around, and then I go down here and collect the gifts. Fungus, because I'm a fun guy. Get it? I got it. Where else to go? What could the next possible troubles be in this particular world of paint and more paint and paint brushes and more brushes? Oh, things are getting dark as I move this way. It must be dangerous ahead. Oh, we're gonna look at that. It looks dangerous ahead. I look forward to what comes next. Hmm. I know there was an individual over here who seemed to have a house. What's up, Shroom? I'm wearing your fungus hat. I don't see too many folks who roam in the swamps. Nice to meet you, stranger. Do you live here? Oh yeah, all by myself. Last time somebody was here must have been... Mm, it was that famous wielder, the hare. Chicory was here? Yeah, although she was acting real strange at the time. Like, like how strange? These colors were starting to fade. 
as they do when they ain't been touched up in a while. So she came to fill it back in. Chicory always hated leaving anything blank. But something strange happened. She kept coloring stuff in, staring at it, and then erasing it. And coloring it again, and again, and again, and again, and again. That same spot, all day. Meanwhile, the whole swamp needed color. She was getting real frustrated until she threw a fit, tossed her brush. So uh, I asked her what the problem was, and she said she couldn't make it look right. I mean, it looked fine to me, but I guess I'm not a fancy artist. She didn't say anything after that. She left. So what brought you here, stranger? I came to investigate the spooky trees. Oh, gosh, are you a plant fan like me? That's great. Look at all the ones I've collected over here. Nice plants. That spooky trees are a curiosity, eh? They uh, up and sprouted when all the colors vanished. The wind flowing through them makes a spooky sound. And the roots, they go so deep, I can't find the bottom of them. I tried taking the, some of their bark home with me, but I don't know. It felt haunted, spooky, iniquitous, paranormal, ectoplasmic. So I tossed it. I like collecting all kinds of plants and leaves. I draw them and press them into books. Some make nice teas too. <laughs> like maple leaves from maple trees. Also, I see that there are lily pads in the water. Observe the lily pads in the water. But they kind of look like cats. This one in particular looks like a cat. Cat. A blue cat. I've had some experiences. Well, anyway. Experiences. You got high off your own supply, didn't you, old man? Never get high off your own supply. Good luck with your investigation, stranger. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for telling me more about what's going on with the chickster. Oh, this looks like something that's important. Let's go this way. Hey, that totally worked. That's awesome. But I'm not ready to proceed to this section yet. I also could have... Oh. Uh... I'm not ready to proceed yet. I'd like to go up this way and see what there is to find. A canvas! And a child! It's a child! There's always room for more children. Canvas number five. Mambo number five. I don't remember how Mambo number five goes. Ah, I can't remember it at the top of my head. I think that was Mamba number five. This is canvas number five. These canvases got wiped too. I could fill this in at the Pot Lock Art Academy. I forgot I could do that. Nah, no, no, we don't need it. Hey, Harry, how's it going? Do you feel the painting spirits? How's your day so far? It seems, if I'm correct in saying, it's either 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock right now. But I could very well be wrong. Oh, I don't want to go that way. I want to go around the corner, up over here, 4 p.m. Nice. Nice. Anna and I were arguing what the time was yesterday, or what the time difference was. And I was like, I'm pretty sure it's five hours. She's like, no, 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 it's six hours. I'm pretty sure it's five hours. I'm pretty sure it's five hours. And clearly... That has confirmed that. 11, 11 plus the 5, the time, that is 4. Makes sense. Oh, that's spooky. But it could be spookier if I draw it like that. I forget, can I color in these trees? I most definitely cannot color in that tree. It's too spooky to allow tree things to happen. Wow, all these vines are just going all over the place. How do I get over there? Oh, I need to go... I gotta go back for a hot second. Retrace my steps a little bit. I want that gift, and I know how to get to that gift. I have a feeling. I've got a feeling that I know exactly how to get to that gift. That wasn't very smooth. That wasn't very cash money. Not in my narration of it all. Let's go between the trees. I got a feeling. Ooh -hoo. That was like my jam back in my days of like middle school. Black Eyed Peas, stuff like that. Clown. Oh, no. No, no, no. Nope, don't don't want that. I don't like the clown. Don't like clown. Th uh, get up. Clowns are kind of spooky. You ever watch the movie It? IT? 
Pennywise. Creepy. Scary as hell. Don't really like it. That was a horror movie I did kind of enjoy. That was all right. Is there something in that tree? <gasps> There's a child in the tree! I will put you in my pocket, young one. I should play Stardew Valley. I feel like I should put that on my list. I like Stardew Valley. I really do enjoy Stardew Valley. That was another one of those games very much like Slime Rancher that I just kind of, I played it a lot in the beginning and then just left it behind. Do I have it? I do have it, yeah. I got stuff, I got that. I played it a lot when it like, and not when it first came out, but I played it a lot for a while. Back when I was in high school, that was during the days when, actually it must've been years ago because that was during the time Oh my god, yeah, it was years ago. Back in high school. That was over five years ago. Holy crap. Anyway, yeah. I played that back in high school. And what I would do is that was a game that Anna really liked to watch me play. And Anna's not really into video games. She still really isn't. But at the time, she was like, yeah, I'll watch you. I'd love to watch you play that game. And I was like, really? And so we'd get on a Skype call after school would end. And I'd just kind of play the game, share my screen, and we'd play it. It was awesome. <laughs> Make you first. You are now first for the month, and I congratulate you for that. And now I will find the most terrifying party horn to be able to congratulate. <coughs> That's not too bad. It's a tiny little party horn. Oh, you know what? I need to attempt to. Oh. Why not? Indeed, that is a very good question. I remember being told when I first entered high school about a psychology exam, a college psychology exam. The question on the exam was, why? And I was like, what's the answer? He's like, and my professor was like, why not? You're off, ciao, ciao for the day. Thank you so much for stopping in, coming around for some celebratory <laughs> horning. Cause it's a party horn, celebratory horning. That doesn't sound right. I don't like that. I am never saying that again. I need to do that, and then I need to- Oh, I need to bounce to the side. I know how I'm supposed to do this. I need to go to the this way. So I need to do that. Oh, I need to- Oh, I gotta do that. Hmm. I need to learn how to- I move like that, so I should be going this way while putting them together. This is gonna take a little bit of finagling. A little bit of finessing. That's what I think. So when I go, when I click the button, then I need to push that this way. So. No, I didn't do it right. Okay. What I need to do is on my right joystick, I need to go to the left and then up while holding the left trigger. And on my left joystick, I have to push to the right. So that might be a little confusing. Or maybe I can just... No, I put it to the wrong side. I'm getting better. I am getting better at this. I think I can do it. Willpower, hand-eye coordination. No, wait. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was very close. Okay, I got this. Actually, I don't need to do that top one. I really need to only need to do the one. So, that there. No, I didn't. Ooh, okay. Nope, I clicked, I clicked the thing. I clicked the joystick instead of the other one. Let's try that again. Good. Go to the side, go this way. Yes, that worked. Awesome. Ah, exclamations, what's in the big box? It's a brush style. It's a flower because we're in the we're in the forest, right? And flowers and leaves and all that stuff. I'm enjoying that. Cool, cool, cool. I don't need that. I don't really like the stickers to be perfectly honest. I'm not a sticker guy, not when it comes to this game. Alrighty then. That was cool. Now, I want to see if I can get that. Oh, I can't get. I don't think I can get that present down there. So I'll mark it with blue because I want to get to it later. That's how I'll mark things. So then I'm down here. That's what was over there. So that wasn't actually the way to go. That's the, uh, I can go this way and I just bring myself back over here. But I go over here. What I want to be is down there. How do I get down there? Oh, I gotta go down. This was the normal way to go. Uh, okay. And that was up there, so now I'm gonna go over here and flop my way down here and take the vine down that way and you know, so on and so forth. You get the idea. Finding my way closer and closer to the deepest, darkest realms of Chicory's heart. Or what I would reason to be. 
Chicory's innermost, darkest thoughts. Maybe she just needs more confidence. Maybe she just, like... I, I gotta wonder, maybe it was just the history, like, the, the horror of studying under Blackberry, always having your work critiqued and whatnot, is what got Chicory so unsure of herself. That or just the sparks out. Like, maybe she's just not into it anymore, which is really unfortunate. But that's okay, everyone's got their next paths in life. All right, now it's time to find my way into the cave. The music's getting a little more intense. What's inside? Staircase. It's glowing. It's a glowing little mushroom thing. Maybe. I love the I love the fluorescent colors. These like these light up colors. I think are like my favorite. I really like that. And I really like this maple tea, too. It's very tasty. Um, when I go refill up my tea, I'll drop the brand. In case anybody's curious. Light up the room. Light up the nights. There is a city A song by the Proto Men just popped into my head. It's called Light Up the Night. That's because I'm lighting up the room. It's not really night in here. It's just kind of darkness. But where there is dark, there must be light, right? Depending on what you, what belief you subscribe in. All things balanced. I'm okay with that. Okay, now I want to light the path forward. Where does it go? Where does it branch off to? Oh, big old splody bombs. Okay. That answers that question. I can push you over here and then make you explode. Explodo. I wonder if there are any cracks in the wall. I believe the cracks in the wall could be exploded. Uh, using those bombas. Oh, there's another thing over there. I rolled the ball over there. Cool. It looks... I mean, there's kind of cracks everywhere. But what if I crack this one? No, it does not seem to be the case. I thought maybe. In the meantime, I'll just destroy these boulders. Boulders? Be gone. It's boulder be gone. A.K.A. TNT. Dynamite. Let's light up this room and see what there is to see. More vines. Ah, more of those puzzles. Nice. I want to do this on the other side to see what lights up in that direction. Oh, it's a little path. Nice. Awesome. And there seems to be something over the over yonder. Ever yonder. Oh, I, there should be a... I'll find it. I will find the key. The key to unlock the next area. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Very red in here. The music just got really quiet. Where did the music go? I don't like that. No, give me my music back. Fill in the path. Where's my music? The sound of the 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 sound of the paint. Oh, going through the okay. The sound of the paint going through the vines, vines sounds like, honestly, like weirdness, scariness. Oh, hey now. Oh, I see. Oh, I understand what's going on now. It's the bugs. The bugs eat the car. Oh, we've discussed this before. This is indeed a concept that we are already familiar with. Oh, I see. I see right there. Uh, I see another path that extends down that way. Ah, uh, I see. Are there any more paths? No, so how would you get there? Hmm. There's definitely a path down here, too, to light up. In addition, it seems to be something over here. And maybe over here. Yeah, it's just kind of hidden things in the darkness. I'm going to use the bugs to kind of light up where the other areas are again. And there's one more over here, it looks like. All right, so there... Oh, this is the puzzle. I see. This one has a vine. That has a vine. That has a vine. That has a vine. And that has a vine. That's, that's the one, I bet. Top three. And then this one. And then this one. Yes! 
Nice. Very nice puzzle. Very good puzzle. Enjoyable puzzle. Lovely puzzle. Tantalizing puzzle. Puzzle. Puddle? Puddle. Puddle of paint. Oh, God. There's paint everywhere. Oh. Well, this is... Spooky. Sushi and Mac. Sushi and Mac. Sushi and Mac. Sushi and Mac. Sushi Mag. Sushi Mag. Sushi Mag. Sushi Mag. Sushi Mag. SM. Sushi Mush. Okay. Oh, boss time already. Hey! It's the giant eyeball again. And another one. And then a third. This is boss number three. What's going on? Hey. 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 Hey, it's big old chicory face again. Or evil face. Are you okay? Oh, things got weird. Should I not enter that white? I guess I'll enter the white. Oh! Oh, I knew. Ch chicory? Am I in your brain? I feel that I'm perhaps in your brain. I knew that was chicory. I had a, it had bunny ears. Nobody else I know has bunny ears. What are you doing here? I made a huge mistake, Sushi and Mac. I should never have given you the brush. You have no talent. You're a joke. How could I be so careless? Uh, shut up! I don't want to hear you talk. I only ever kept you around because you were my janitor. That's the only reason you got the brush. You just happened to be there. Now you think you're an artist. It's pathetic. Ch Chicory, I, I can't let... I said shut up! Don't speak to me. You're nothing. And... and I'm going to erase you. Whoa, shit! No! Oh, God. Okay, I've been erased. No, I haven't. I haven't been erased. Oh, I can... Oh my god! Chicory, no, wait, don't attack me! Chicory! Is that why the game's name is Chicory? Because I have to fight the Chicory? She's the cause of everything! But she's hurting. That's the problem. She's in pain. You just need to talk to somebody. Chicory, we can talk things out. Maybe you are a little messed up, but we're all a little messed up. It's okay! Oh, I can, like, I can go through the paintbrushes. Oh, I got whacked. I've been erased. But I'm off again. That's fine. Oh, God. Please, no. It's okay. I don't don't worry about it, Chicory. It's okay. We're all in pain. We're all in pain together. You're in pain internally, and I'm in pain physically because I am Sushi Mac. I'm Sushi Mac, and I am in pain physically because you are trying to erase me from the world. I don't want to erase you. I will color you. I will give you a color. Don't erase yourself, Chicory. I love you. You're the best, Chicory. Stop. No, don't do it again. No. Oh, I see AOE attacks. That's fine. I can run. I can run. I can do that. That's fine. I like this theme, though. This boss music is pretty cool. I'm not very stressed out about this one. This one doesn't give me the stressy wesses. Interesting how your brush... Uh, you have a brush. Interesting. You still have the power of the brush. Very interesting. It's like an anti-brush. It's one that erases as opposed to one that does. It's like, um... It's the spackle tool that a painter would use for certain things. Oh, that came right for me. That was right for me, Chicory. You, you really got me there. I will admit that you, you did good there. Oh, oh, I see. I have to look for the white parts. If I get hit by that, I will be done a race. I do not want to be done a race. And then it curves. I avoid those. I avoid that. There is a lot going on here. But that's okay. Nope. Don't touch. Don't touch. Oh, don't touch. Ah, oh, I fell right into that one. I cornered myself. It's okay. It's okay. On the bright side, I was reading a couple of reviews for this game recently, and like, they're right in the fact that it's a very forgiving game. You don't really get punished very much for not, like, being perfect. Or not doing things absolutely super good. Oh, you're gonna chase me with it. Well, that's not fun. Please don't. Nope. Nope. I'll just... I'll just go around you. I'll just go. No, it came right towards me. Nope. Stop. Stop. Nope. I have to focus on what's going on with one joystick and then maneuver myself with the other one. There we go. Okay, and then down here. Oh, I can move around faster. I forgot. I should I should do that. I can move around faster with a bigger brush. Well, on the bright side, just because you have the power to erase me doesn't mean I don't have the power to bring myself back to life. So you can you can go around real fast with that little Spackle brush of yours? Well, so can I! 
I can do that too, because I am a wielder as well, and I am truly an artist. I have talent. It's just talent that maybe you don't understand. And that's okay, we've all got our own style. We've all got our own colors. We've all got our own patterns. And that is okay. That is totally an acceptable way to go about doing things. We don't have to be perfect. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, is that close? Oh God, that's close. Oh God, that's close. Oh God, that's really close. Okay, there we go. That was very close. I don't want to hurt you. I know you're in pain. I think most of the pain is coming from yourself. Oh dear, okay. Re! Are you okay? You're not okay. It's... Perhaps this is a caricature of how you see yourself. You see yourself as a really bad person, and you're not a bad person. Chapter 4. Into the Depths. Alright. Yes, I believe that we can continue. That was rather short and sweet. Into the Depths below. Into the Depths of Chicory? Oh, hi, Blackberry. Hey. Ah! You're awake. I, I, uh, I saw Chicory. You saw her? Inside the tree. What's going on? It's as I feared. The darkness that rises from below. I think it's connected to Chicory. But, but, I mean, it wasn't real, right? The thing she said in there. Ah. Uh, you need to speak with Chicory. Confront her about this. She won't listen to me anymore. But maybe you. The brush. I've powered up. Now can I bounce around with the brush? That seems to be the next upgrade because I can bounce between surfaces. Right? Press Y to leap. Yes. Cross small gaps and fall from high places. Nice. I can leap into the water. Oh, nice. That's cool. With the power of the brush, now I can jump. So jump isn't an ability you start with. What else do you have to say, Blackberry? The power of these corruptions. It's far beyond what we've ever known. They came about when Chicory had the brush. And now, she's appearing within them. <sighs> I'm afraid to face what this could all mean. I fear I made a horrible mistake. Chicory could... Could it really be? I don't know how else to explain all of this. You need to speak with her. Please hurry. I will do so. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Blackberry. We shall ride to find dear Chicory. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I can do that now. And I can leap. Yeah. Nice. Elf. 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 I am Link. Oh, wait a minute. I can't. Can I undo? Oh, can I? Can I jump back onto the thing? Nope. How do I... How do I get off of this thing? Oh, I just had to go forward. I don't know how I missed that. Back up over here. Can I can I leave across? Oh, sweet. Oh, that makes things really convenient. Nice. Bounce through there. Was there any other leapy points that I should be aware of? No? Maybe? I don't remember. Something over here. Something over there. Oh, I see litter over there. I must pick up the trash. Taking out the trash. In the gulp swamp. Yeah. I wonder if there's... I, I, there must be something to do with this later. There's got to be one person who's just like, I like trash. Give me all your trash. Oh, I can leap that now. Nice. Does that bring me all the way back over here? Oh, it could. Oh! Very convenient. I know there was a little blue area down here that I wanted to get to. It was another little present area. I'm going to grab that before moving on. Uh, it's not the right direction. Or maybe... No, it definitely isn't. I have to go over here. And then boosh my way across. As well as boosh like that. Oh, and then I can go inside of there too. Yeah, secret area. Bounce. And then boop. And into whatever's in here. Aha. Uh -huh. Secret, secret cavern. What could lie beyond... Okay. Oh, I see that. Oh, look at that. So I don't want to use the big brush over here. Okay. Okay. I get that. I see that. I understand that. And if I delve deeper into the tunnels, is there more? Is, th is there perhaps more? More on the path? Yes. I will go along the path as much as I can. Kind of going around the buggies. Oh, dear. Dear me. 
Deary, dearest me. I will go around the buggies as well. Sticking my way through the cave. Oh, hello, bugs. Hello, bugs again. Well, that's okay. That's fine. If I go over here, I'll light up the whole area, right? Maybe. Oh, big giant present. Yeah, dude. What's in here? Another pattern? A leaf pattern. Nice. Not a really big fan of those, but that's okay. That's totally fine. Make my way up and jump on back down. I like the leap. The leap is good. The leap is very convenient. I like the leap. Leap, 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 frog. All these new abilities, they're so exciting. I like that. All right. Ah, uh, la la. Jump down from there. Just make my way over, way over here. I must talk to Chicory. Now, I have a small prediction that Chicory is not going to be at what I am going to refer to as Chicory Tower. Chicory Tower, because like that's where that's where Chicory. A wielder's tower? Maybe the wielder's ta the tower of the wielder? Maybe that's what it's supposed to be. Can I bounce onto these little lily pads? Can I do that? I don't believe I can. It does not appear that I can bounce on said lily pads. Um, maybe I can do things over here now, though, because I can bounce across surfaces like I was able to do down there. But keep the task at hand. Got to go find Chicory. I want to ask her if everything's all right. I'm going to ask her if she's okay. And I don't think she's okay. But nonetheless, I want to ask. I am curious. Beans! Hey, check it! The kids helped me move more stuff out. If you want some, it's yours. There's something about secrets. Just interact with it. Oh, no. Hand it over. Look, I'm not sure what that means either. <laughs> I'll take the antique set. Did you want to take the antique set? Yes. I got the antique set. All right. I'll be watching the kids inside. If you bring me six more children, I'll move more stuff out. I want to see how many children are inside right now. I know there's like 20-something. Oh, they're all so cute. You get to be blue. Yeah. The one that wasn't colored. Or perhaps I could have, should have kept it white. Uniqueness. Oh, Chickster. Chickster. I have things to ask you. Chickster. Are you inside? Wielder Tower. Oh, it's called Wielder Tower. Hey, look, it's my initials. Forgot about that. Oh, look at this. The, um... Oh. It seems that... Was she repainting the past wielders? Past wielders? I haven't been back to my room in a while. I haven't been back here in a while. I'd like to paint my own room again. Yeah. There we go. I like that. Cute. Very cute. And I'll make my way back to the other side. Hopefully to be able to talk to Chikori. She's in pain. I feel bad for her. Hey! Hi, Chikori. Oh, hey, Sushi Mac. Uh, did you take care of the swamp then? Awkward. Chicory, I saw something. You were there in the swamp. You said some things that... Blackberry thinks it's connected to you. But it wasn't real, right? Uh-oh. Blackberry said that, huh? There's no point in hiding it anymore. Chicory, what? What's going on? I'm a messed up person. That's what's going on. You're not all these corruptions. They're not just connected to me. They're coming from inside me. I, I can't stop them. They expose all my worst thoughts and fears, reveal awful things. But, but it's not real, right? You said that I'm a joke. I don't deserve the brush. It's not what you really think, right? You think I should be the wielder. You believe in me, don't you? I can't deal with this. Uh, but, but, but... I don't care who the wielder is. It doesn't matter who the wielder is. Just leave me alone. How can you say that? I... I did it for you. I, I thought... I thought we could be friends. I can't believe I looked up to you. There's a lot of pain going on right here. I feel that. Chicory. I'm sorry. Just go away. That, that I should have... That, go! Okay. You need space. I respect that. I am going to try to bother you at least one more time, though. It's locked. 
Chicory, I'm sorry. If I keep pressing it. Usually, I can press things until it tells me not to. Okay, clearly not. Gotcha. No problem. I will head out then. Oh, it's the bugs of the forest giving me a letter. Well, this is cute. What a change of pace. Uh, what's this? Dear Wielder, the bugs of feasts humbly request your service. Come find us deep in the grub caverns on the outskirts of dinners, the North City. Sincerely, Queen Drossera. Well, that was cute. Well, I guess I suppose I have no choice but to go say hello to the Queen. Oh, darkness. I love how, like, there is a certain, like, darkness that you see where pretty much wherever you go where danger lies. That's really cool. Macaroon, what do you got? Luncheon's definitely changing. I notice these spooky trees all around. I'm a tough guy, though, so it doesn't bother me. But maybe for someone less tough, it'd be scary. Ah, <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm... I'd be real right now. <sighs> Look, I... I don't know how to say this, but I think we should be telling more people on account of it being on my mind a lot. I like dudes, okay? I mean, not just dudes. I like all kinds of folks. So I'm bi, okay? Samesies, dude. A little bit. I feel that. This is a new thing for me. I'm happy for you, Macaroon. So I'm happy that you let it out. Anyway, so I've only recently been figuring that out about myself. Uh, it's pretty scary. Not to be the person you thought you were. I uh, keep falling back on saying I'm a tough guy, and but actually, I'm a lot of things, including by, I guess. But also so tough. Feels good to just be honest about it. You know, uh, sorry if that was weird. No, it's okay, dude. Vibe. Fist bump you. Hello, Synergy. How are you this fine, wonderful? It is almost afternoon, so it is still morning. How are you? We're experiencing a lot of inner turmoil over here, but also a lot of good vibes, too, which is great. You made yourself a name for yourself as a weirder. I have? Oh, yes. Opening the way to Eleven Seas, investigating the Weirder Temple. You're still no Blackberry by any means, but you're working your way up. Tell me, what inspires you as a wielder? Making people happy. If if anything that I can do to is to if anything I can do can make somebody put a like put a smile on somebody's face, that is enough reason to go about and doing it. Personally, hmm, must be tempting to be populist, isn't it? But can you really make something important if you're just making what people real already want? A real artist gives us what we didn't know we wanted. And then shows up why we want it after shows us why we want it after all. And the courage to be bold. Thank you for your insights, Pumpernickel. I respect that. But what about in dinners? I gotta go north. I have to go north. I haven't talked to you in a while. How's it going, guy? Basil? Well, and the brush must be overwhelming. If you're not sure what to do, don't be afraid to ask for help. Old folks like us are always full of advice. <laughs> The way to the Nibble Tunnel is through my little garden. Connects us to potluck and dinners. So folks are often coming and going through here. I hope my flowers make their trip a little nicer. You planted flowers, dude. Did you really? Oh, let me make your flowers bright. Yeah. Thank you, Basil. Oh, yeah. All my little flowers are booming again. Blooming again. They're so happy they're practically singing. <laughs> and I'm too. Oh, please take this. I love how all the old folks in this game just give you trash. <laughs> I can't believe that. Someone tossed that in my garden. I suppose it seems an odd gift, doesn't it? Well, in dinners, there's an exchange which takes litter and gives you plants. So hang on to that. Oh, so that's the meaning of the litter. I knew there had to be a thing. Well, I will take that. Thank you, Basil, for your loveliness. Let's see about... So, cave thing is over there. Make my way over there. There's trash down there. Let's see. If I paint this area blue, can I kind of wedge myself between those trees? I feel that I may be able to wedge myself between the trees. I will observe. Any Anything? No? Okay. Well, if I go in this direction, 
I can snake my way down that way. Per chance. Oh, you know, I could have done this completely differently. I should go back around. Oh, uh, I understand. Back this way. Through the garden again. Over here, and then upwards to find more trash. I mean litter. And then talk to you guys. Pea and Ginger. Ooh! Hmm. What a nicely balanced style for a home. A mix of detail and simplicity. Very pleasing. I guess. It's fine. We've been hearing so much about you, Sushi and Mac. Yeah. At first I thought it was weird that you'd be the wielder, but now it's kind of cool. Our neighbor is the wielder. Wowie. And you're talking to us? It's like we're famous. What P means is that we're happy for you. Have you found yourself settling into a style? Or are you still experimenting? It's good to mix things up, even when you're uncomfortable. Psst! Ha, ha. You should just find the best art style and do that! If I was the wielder, it'd be easy! What's the best art style, P? Huh? If it's so easy, why don't you tell us? Well, maybe see you around, Sushi Mac. Yeah! If you do anything cool, I definitely want to go check it out. Good luck. Thanks, dudes. I appreciate your positivity in these times of uncertainty. Now to make our way to dinner. Or dinners. There are multiple dinners here. That's where the bugs are, apparently. Is this just a colony of bugs? Because that's pretty dope. Not gonna lie. Nibble tunnel. This way, and then one of the directions goes towards uh, dinners. That Dinners that way. Pot looks this way. Dinners in this direction. Right, and I needed my leap ability in order to do things. What if I jump off the cliff? Can I jump off the cliff? Bye, world. Nope, can't do that. I can bounce across there. No, I can't. I can bounce across, bounce across there. Totally can. Brew path. Which color? I think a nice fuchsia would be perfect for these adventures. Sh glowing bright. Shines bright. What's this? What? Oh, hello? Oh, there you are. I can bounce up onto surfaces and bounce my way over. Nice. I understand now. And I'll use blue to light up the rest of the area. Lovely. I love this. Like, the, one of the concepts that I think I enjoy the most about this game is the fact that there is a lot of the world around you that you don't see unless you interact with it. Like, unless you draw it in, you will never know what it looks like. That's cool. I like that concept. These are cool concepts to me, and I very much enjoy that. I vibe well with that. I vibe very well with that. Plus, like, colors have always been a thing that I am totally enthused about. I've always been a bit of a colors man. In recent years, feeling like I'm a little more aware of the, the colors that I wear, and the colors that I use, and the colors that I notice on a daily basis. For example, pride flags have all the colors. They are very pretty flags because of the sheer amount of colors that are on them. I always like to think that I could be the person with the most color in the room. And there's actually a board game, uh, not a board game, a card game that I play called Unstable Unicorns that according to the rules of the book, at least, the person who goes first is the person who is wearing the most colors. And uh, I like to pride myself on being the one that is wearing the most colors at any particular time. Uh, today I have many colors on. This shirt itself has a uh, yellow, a red, a white, the black. Well, I have plaid pants on too, like a plaid patchwork pants on. And they've got like a green on them, an aqua on them, this, that, and the other thing. A lot of colors. A lot, a lot of colors. But that's exactly what I wanted. All according to plan. The colors are coming together quite nicely. Now, where to next? I guess... I don't exactly know if I'm going the right direction for dinners. I assume that I am. Uh, I guess dinners is probably through that cave over there. And then maybe... Maybe if I go back the other way. If I go back the other way... Over here... Perhaps I'll be able to... No. Oh. Bounce. I want to go down there and see what's down in this direction. Anything secret? This feels pretty secret. Secret, secret. Okay. Over here. Nope. Maybe somewhere in the middle. Boop. Tiny brush. Tiny brush, tiny brush, tiny brush. Where do you go, tiny brush? Uh, and then big brush, big brush, big brush to light the way. Oh, I see that some of them are dead ends and some of them aren't. So I want to go to the areas that aren't dead. Unless, I guess I'll try all the areas. Who knows? 
Maybe the dead ends aren't, just aren't so dead after all. They're just vibe ends. You get there and you're just like, whatever. Hey, look, a giant present. Awesome. A brush style. Starburst is what I'm going to call it. And honestly, I like that more than... I like that more than circles. Circles are cool, but if I'd heard of explosions, that's pretty awesome. So I think if there's a way that I can find myself up there, I will be able to bounce down there. But I need to find my way up there first. So that's fine. Let's go in here. Make our way back over here to the other side of the cave. Go over here, over there. Bounce on over. And this is probably the exit with uh, what I seek. And then... Oh, I guess I, I can't bounce over. Oh, I don't know how to get up there, though. Can I bounce like this? No. I guess I suppose I'll move upwards. It's dinners. Clementine! What are you doing over here? Sushi Mac! What brings you to the big city? Busy with uh, important wielder stuff? I guess so. Hmm. You should come get a slice with me. I know the perfect place in terms of screens. It's just one up from here. I'll meet you inside there. I love it how they put it in terms of screens. <laughs> There's a brush style in Sips River that you think I'll like? Oh! Where was Sips River again? Sips River was down south to the west of Gulp Swamp. Oh my god, I can't wait to go down there. If it's got a lot of colors, I do like colors. If it's a gradient style, I'm a fan of that. What is this little triangle doing here? I like you. Nice, nice triangle. Oh, and there's a little, oh, are these like stickers or something? Ooh, they look like stickers. There's stickers everywhere. Interesting. Pizza. I knew it had to be a pizza place. And a place called Dinners, I would be very surprised if we weren't serving pizza around here. Don't get me wrong. Pizza, in my humble opinion, can be a breakfast thing, a lunch thing, a midnight snack thing. But I'd say most prominently, it's a dinner or late afternoon thing. Like, I wouldn't necessarily want to start my day with a cold piece of pizza. A cold piece of pizza, I would. A warm piece of pizza, nah. Cold pizza feels like a midnight, early morning thing. At least that's how I see it. Hey! I, like, cannot wait to, um... Hey, uh, Sushi Mac, you look kind of down. Is it because I colored myself aquamarine, which has a little bit of blue in it? Ah, uh, yeah, I guess I am. Uh, it's about chicory. Oh my gosh, no! Did she say something like nasty to you? Do I have to get her to go beat her up? Because I will. I will beat the head. I will beat the shit out of her. No, no. I, I mean, she did. But you shouldn't beat her up. I think she's probably, to be perfectly honest, she's probably beating herself up enough, which is unfortunate to say the least. If you say so, I guess she must be going through a lot right now, though. With, you know, everything happening. Hope she's okay. But, I mean, I wouldn't worry about what she said. Unless she, like, called you a failure. Or a joke. In which case, you should definitely take that personally. But she would never say something like that. You're the sweetest, coolest little wielder there's ever been. And I'm not just saying that because I'm your sister. I love you, Sushi Mac. You know, I always have your back. Seriously. Hug. Aww. Sisterly, brotherly love. Thanks, Clementine. Did you, uh, still want to have a slice with me? Uh, yeah, I do. Oh my god, I was about to sneeze. But the sneeze went away. Alright, we'll save the sneeze for next time. Okay, let's go! Go is in- go where? We're eating pizza? Pizza time? A whole pizza? Nice. Ah, dude, that hit the spot. I'm surprised I haven't heard of this place before. How's Weedon Wielden going anyway? It's been kind of a lot, to be honest. Chicory is doing worse than ever, and the Bug Queen needs my help or something? And the Eleven Seas Gallery is missing paintings. Not to mention there's lost kids literally everywhere, like orphan children cats. Haha, <laughs> yeah. You're so focused on everyone else's problems. Oh, am I? Yeah, you always say yes to everything, but, like, you know, 
It's okay to say no sometimes, too. Things are different now that I'm wielding. I have responsibility. Therefore, I must say yes to everybody. Unless it brings you stress and anxiety and bad, bad, nasty things, in which case it is indeed okay to say no. I can't just let everyone down. I, for one, have never been let down. At least speaking from experience, I have never been let down by somebody saying no to something. Or, or I shouldn't say never, but I would say for the most part, I haven't been let down by somebody who says no. It's it's okay. Like you, If I request something of you, it's okay for you to deny it. It's all right. Then I'll just do it myself. Can't you? Clementine. I don't think you really get it. Even Wielder's got... Even Wielder's got to take a break, you know? <laughs> you need to make time for yourself, too. But... How am I supposed to do that? Hey, um... Excuse me. You're the... You're the Wielder, right? Dude, we're, like, kind of having a moment over here? Oh! Well, uh, so, like I was saying about you being the wielder and all and completely ignoring what you just said, uh, my slice is pretty dang good, right? Uh, but I really don't know about marketing. I need help getting the word out, so I just thought, you know, maybe while you're here, um, could you, like, design maybe, like, a logo or something for me, please? That'd be cool. Yeah. Dude, are people just like that with you? Are people just like that with you? Basically. It's no wonder your little stress ball. Well, why don't you let me help you? I could scribble some stuff, and then, like, you just add as much or little as you feel like. That'd be fun, right? Yeah, I like that idea. Show me what you got, Clementine. Okay, now it's your turn. I love it. What else? What do I see in this drawing? I see a fist on the bottom. An ear and parts of a mouth. That's what I'm getting here. That's what I'm getting. So I will complete that as I would. I'm going to give you a little spiky haircut. Very spiky haircut. You're going to love that haircut. With a... Oh, shoot. I didn't want to do that. There we go. Then I'm going to take it down the back a bit. That's going to be your head. Yeah. And I think as well, you deserve a ponytail. You're the kind of person who would have a ponytail. A very small one. Like one of those like um that the samurais would have on the back of their head. That's the kind of the kind of ponytail you would have. In my world. In my drawing. It's a little like a Yeah. That is not very good. However, it's the best that I can muster right now. Oop, a little, little bit there. So that's cool. I like that. You also have ears, naturally. So I need to draw in your lobes. This is your lobe. You need... This is your mouth over here. So I think you would benefit from perhaps some lipstick. What kind of lipstick are you? What what kind of lipstick would you wear? You've got the very green aesthetic going on here. you got the purple for your uh, hairband. I feel like a nice pinkish color would be very good for your lipstick. So let's work on that. I like that. This is your pink lips. Pink lips. There we go. Pink lips on top. Pink lips on the bottom. I know it's kind of looking like a beak, but that's okay. You're special. You're special and you're beautiful. I need to draw your eyes, which... I'm not sure if you're the kind of person who has eyes. Honestly, the way that the brush looks right now is perfect for eyes. I want to try to draw that. I need a little circle. Exactly like that. Yes! It's not much of a circle. It's more rectangular, come to think of it. Maybe I can, like, little take around that, race around that corner a little bit. Little bit! No! Too much! It's fine. I'm cool with that. And you're radioactive. So you will have, also, neon green pupils. Yes. That's fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. But you're also angsty at the world. Remember, you are angsty. So, that's why you have this fist down here. With the power of the fist, which I suppose you're wearing like a, like a nice sh shirt or something. Let's go with that. No, no, no. That's too much color. Uh, let's say that you've got like a nice shirt. I'm going to draw you a shirt as best as I possibly can. There's the collar of your shirt. Yeah, it's a little odd. It's a bit of a turtleneck. Not, you know, you don't really have a neck, but that's okay. 
That's fine. Draw the bottom half of your shirt, or rather just your torso in general. Let's just say you don't have another hand. You have no, you have one hand to use, and it's the hand that you will use to f wag your fist at the world. That's the hand that you will use. Uh, yes, I'm cool with that. You don't have another hand. You're actually also, as a, in addition to you being a very exuberant personality, you were also a war veteran. I don't know what war was fought, but you fought well. So, that's what I'll give you. Oh, whoopsie daisy. I did not want to do that. I want this to be the inside color. So the shirt itself will be like a nice green color. And then, attempt to draw in the rest of... I'll use a big brush. Big br br big. That was very large brush. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That, that's I'm cool with that. It's okay. I will redo it. I want the inside of the shirt to be a nice this color. Your hand should remain to be white. You have a you have a very white, very pale, very very clear, very clear skin. You have very clear skin. That's the word I want to use for that. And then we'll that color should be this one. Make the brush a little bit bigger so I can get around the edges. Very angry. Very angry at the world. Actually, currently, currently, you are so angry at the world that you were screaming at it. So, there should be a color effect for the words that you were saying against the government. So, you are completely against holies. Holies as in donuts. You speak against donut holy tyranny in the world of dinners and that's what you're so angry about actually to make it very clear that that's what you're angry about i am going to draw a holy for you um here is your holy you're angry at this donut which which you have taken a bite of you have taken a bite of this donut there we go yeah that's a nasty holy we hate that holy and now I must draw the rest of your shirt. And I will do so. I promise. I will never leave you without- I will never leave you shirtless. Or pantsless. That's the thing I wouldn't want to do. Oh, I changed the color up a little bit. That's okay. Draw around the edges. Around the, around the bottom. I feel like this is a very freeform art. It's very, um, anti-establishment. It's very speak your mind. I'm cool with that. And your legs are... Many. You have many legs. You have many, many legs. So you will have one leg, two leg, three leg, four leg, five leg, six leg, seven. You lost one of your legs in the war, too. And this is the pi- oh, wait, and this is a pizza place. So if it's a pizza place, I have to be advertising pizza. So let's draw a piece of pizza. Pizza with some pepperoni on it. That is a very, very tiny pepperoni. There we go, pizza. We don't like holies, but we do like pizzas. Speak out against the holy overlords. Holy isn't donut. That was a bad check mark. There we go. Instead, revert to pizza. Introducing my, introducing my latest masterpiece, I call it Anti-Donut Angry Thing. Yeah, I like that. Anti-Donut Angry Thing. I'm done. Am I finished? Absolutely. I don't think I can get more finished than that. Oh! Yes! This is totally it! The power of your teamwork. It's created the perfect logo. <laughs> Dude, that was fun. But I gotta get going now. Good luck with everything, Sushi Mac. And remember, it's okay to say no. Love ya. Bye, sis. Yes, that was pretty cool. I had pizza. Big Oli. Your name is Big Oli. I'm sure more customers will come. Any minute now. Want a chick back later? I stand here, smiling, forever. Hey look, customers, like Macaroon and Raisin. What's up, dude? Oi! There's nothing like a perfect slice! I'll go anywhere they say is good. I'll go anywhere they say is bad, too. 
I just really like me some slice. I feel that. You ever think about how slice is a weird name for something? I know it's because you eat it in slices, but like, well, eh, whatever. Never mind. Hey, look at that awesome logo. That's so cool looking. I am very proud of that. I mean, I think it's more it's more pleasing in the mind than it is on the eyes. It's not very much eye candy. It's brain candy. That's what I think. Because if you really think about... Remember that art... Half of what art is, is the eye of the beholder. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And there is certainly some beauty to behold there. Let me paint the streets while I'm at it. And then read these signs. What's this? Rooftop party! Come upstairs. Rooftop party! Come upstairs. Must I say it a third time? I guess I'll come upstairs. Hey, what's up? What's up, avocado? Is there a green color? I love Shivakadu. This feels the most avocado that I can. So I will go with it. Can I paint the sky too? I know I can paint the clouds. The clouds are red because of pollution. We shall paint the sky a nice yellow color. Yellow color because it's daytime. It's still the morning. It is still the morning. What's up, avocado? Welcome to the rooftop party. Did you see my flyers? To be honest, I'm kind of new to throwing parties. People keep coming up here, but when they see the big empty roof, they just kind of look around awkwardly. And then, uh, they leave. Probably should have thought about decoration or furniture. Lesson learned. Uh, if you have any of that stuff, you should totally throw it down here. I have furniture. Brush styles, no. But I have collection. And decor. Decor, 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 decorum. I can- Yeah! Let's make this party- Let's get this party started. Let's see about lights. Party has got to have lights. I've got lamps like that. I can- Oh, LB to- Oh, split direction. I see. Well, party's got to have lights. Oh, I can only have one at a time. I see. Okay, well, we got lights. We got to have lights wherever we can have lights. We got to have those. Uh, seats. People don't want to stand at a party the entire time. We gotta have places for them to sit down. Like this chair. This is a well-lit chair. Um, this is a not-so-well-lit chair over here. That's okay. Um, a cushion. Cushion feels very, uh, very host. You know, the, ho the host gets the cushion. What else we got? Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. how do I go down the- whoops. Did not mean to do that. Go here, and how do I go down this list? Oh, okay. That's cool. Wicker chair. Oh, it falls to the bottom because I already did that one. I think another seat. This one right smack in the middle for those who want to be... Oh, no, no, no. You know what? No, no. Dance floor in the middle. Dance floor in the middle. So sound... Oh, there's no sound. Oh. Well. Oh. I like that. It's got to have another poster. Like a happy sun over the top of the door. Nope. Can't do that. How about a bow? A rainbow? Somewhere over the rainbow. I don't have space for that. A little heart lamp? Can I fit the heart lamp? I really can't fit any of my wall stuff here. Alright, well this will be okay for now. And I'll paint them a couple colors. Y'all get red. Like the clouds. The clouds are also indeed red. I'm cool with that. Avocado, how do you feel? <laughs> oh, heck yeah. This is it. This party is saved. You give me a huge salad. I bet loads of people will show up soon. Maybe check back in a bit. If I go down and then go back up. Yo, people, look, it's, it's a party. Woo, all right, here, you can have this. A couch. It's my couch. Well, it was, and now it's yours. May the party go on forevermore. May we party on forever till we just can't party no more. Party. I've always wanted to throw a party. So when I moved to this place, I saw that it had this rad rooftop. My party throwing senses went into overdrive. Next time, decoration, then flyers. I dropped my party hat. I guess I better come clean. I'm I'm not even experienced at partying. I'm sorry. I know it must be shocking. I've always heard how they're so cool. You know, like when people say it's party time. I wanted that to be me, at least once, and so I did at least once. Ah. Oh, so we're we're doing it now, right? We're chatting here. This is partying, right? 
It, wow, wow. Oh my god, this is so cool. I I love to party. You made my dreams come true. I I've partied. I've partied hard. Thank you. You're welcome. What about you, Stevia? Stevia, that's a type of sugar. Are you all types of sugars? Croquette? No. Crocala? Pickle? I know pickle. Ooh, a party. Check it out. It's my party wiggle. My special attack. I'm gonna use it to try to attract friends. This is my special wiggle. It's my secret attack. Carcala, you doing your special wigger? wiggle? I like coming out to diner dinners. Potluck is so quiet. It's good for focusing on art. But after a while, I feel like I'm going crazy. I need noise. Action! Or else it feels like I'm not even alive. What about you, Croquette? Have I talked to you before? I'm glad there was a party going on. I needed a break from my job. I run the plant exchange at the other end of dinners. Check it out sometime. I'm really committed to it. It's an important cause. But yeah, I can forget to stop. The plant exchange is pretty is a pretty new program. So we, we have to work extra hard to demonstrate its value. If we can't show results, I'm worried we'll be shuttered. Oh, look at me. Still just talking about work. <laughs> can't stop working. Being in the wilder must be a stressful job, too. Color and everything sounds like fun, but there's a lot to color, isn't there? Well, I hope you remember to relax and have fun, too. Thank you, Croquette. I appreciate that. I'm trying to have fun with it every single day. <laughs> Rooftop party, huh? This takes me back. Dinners used to be so cool, you know. Rougher, rowdier, ruder, and dirtier. We'd party on the rooftops and get in fights. Now everything's so clean. So nice. It's so tidy. And full of trees and kindness and junk. I mean, I guess it's actually pretty nice here now. But like, is it freedom? Maybe. Freedom to relax. Freedom to just be who you want to be. Barbie girl. I don't know why that keeps coming up. What's in here? I don't know where I am. An adult. An adult? Ahem. Hello, fellow adults. Uh, I'm in line to get my transit pass to go on cool adult adventures, um, which aren't even that cool because I go, like, literally all the time as an adult. Taxes? Cat counting, mowing lawns, vegetables. These are absolutely my favorite things. Have you seen the latest adult rated film? I'm, I sure have. I've seen every single one of them. Even the ones with lots of... Kissing. I've seen a lot of flicks that have kissing in them. Good day to you! Are you up for some kissing? You're an adult, right? You're totally cool with kissing, right? It's a necessary step to be able to get your transit pass. Anyway, this is the Transit Pass Agency. If you're a citizen of age, kissing age I mean, you're entitled to a free transit pass here. Would you like a transit pass? I would. Okay, your name please. I can change my name? Okay, I can change my name. Listen, Sushi and Mac, that's what my favorite food is, but it's not really who I am, you know? What's my favorite food? You can call me Sushi Mac. Not Sushi and Mac. Those days are behind me. Now it's Sushi and Mac and Cheese together, which I call Sushi Mac. I can confirm that this is absolutely my new name. So your name's Sushi Mac? I'm not sure if that's a very kissable name, but I think we can make it work. Okay, Sushi Mac. What's your birth month? Oh, I was actually born in November. Actually. Okay, and what day of the month for your birthday? 19th. I was born on November 19th. What day of the month is your birthday? Number 19. So your birthday is on 11-19? You're absolutely right there. Yes. Okay, well, thank you. Now come stand in front of the camera. Okay, okay. Can I bounce over your counter? Oh, I can't bounce over your counter. I thought maybe I could do that. Haha. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna take your photo. Wait, 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 wait. Neutral expression post. Wait, wait. I wanna change my clothes first. I want my photo to be something awesome. Like, like, like. 
Nothing on my- Oh, sunglasses! I want sunglasses! Yeah! And something cool looking. Something awesome looking. Like... This black dress is giving me anti-establishment vibes. So yes, this is what I choose to wear. And then I want... Yeah, I want the paintbrush to be white. Or the yellowish thing. Cool. Cha-ching! Okay. Now just a uh, sign on the bottom here. A uh, kiss down here. Spit on this. Please refrain from marking other areas. Oh. I need a kiss. I need to put a little lipstick on here. Actually, no. I don't wear lipstick. I don't wear lipstick. Uh, I need to design somewhere. I'm just gonna, like, make this whole thing green. Or maybe not. I don't really like that. Let's just, like, let's give myself some devil horns, because that's cool. It's cool and evil. Finish? Uh, n no. I was not... No. I was not yet done with the thing. I want to change my color to a red. And then I want to give myself, like, little devil horns. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm... I'm so cool, it's downright demonic. I like that. Yeah. Happy for that. Alright, I'm done. And then I'll sign at the bottom. CJ. Yeah. Awesome. Finished? Yeah. Ta-da! Your new card is ready. You can view it anytime on the collection screen. You can also now travel between official transit benches. Just take a seat near any transit sign and flash your card. Have a nice day. Mwah. Kiss you. That's what adults do. Can I go this way? I cannot. Alright, onwards then. I need to find the queen of the bugs. And talk to everyone. Like, oh my god. Why are you reading that? Oh, yeah, why are you reading that? Huh? Oh, I'm waiting for transit. Sure, but why are you reading that? It's not that bad. It's interesting political theory. Have you read it? I have. And it's garbage. Oh. What's wrong with new ideas? Nothing at all. You can't just dismiss it. It addresses actual issues. Like, there's plenty that works right now. Don't get me wrong. Shared worker profit is functional. Government controlled property and all that. But it sucks if you want to start your own business. Fairness is great, but all that red tape also prevents innovation. Sure, I agree. So, shouldn't we do something to improve it? I think we should abolish money altogether. Damn. Don't tell me one of those. How do you imagine society functioning without money? You gonna barter for every slice you order? No. You create a shared storehouse of all goods and products. Everyone contributes to that storehouse to the extent of their ability. And takes to the extent of their need. Wow, that sounds pretty simple. It is. What if someone decides to steal it all from themselves? Then they pit themselves against all of society. They wouldn't win. What if someone burns down the storehouse? You wouldn't actually keep it all in one place. We can deflect and theorize all day. I'm just saying, it would work. Totally would. There's a lot of things to figure out. But all systems of government have things to figure out. I'm not convinced. Because you're believing garbage. No, because it just doesn't make sense. Where's the motivation? Why would anyone do anything? The existence of money doesn't fix existentialism either. But in a moneyless society, you're free to explore that on your own terms. Without the demand for profit keeping you on a treadmill. Society would never just transform like that. Money solves too many problems too well. I'm telling you, this theory is sound. The issue that workers have way too much power. The workers is that workers have way too much power right now. Like, seriously, why should all workers share profit equally? People who actually start businesses should profit from their good ideas. Then you can have an economy driven by people's innovation. Capitalism is what I would call it. That's seriously the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. A successful business would consolidate its wealth to just a few people, so you'd end up with a tiny rolling class exploding everyone's labor, and only lucky with and only lucky rich people would actually be free to have ideas. The rest of us would be stuck working for them. Ellipses. Well, that it's just a theory. That's a pretty hot take. All that was a pretty hot take. Nice. I feel like there's at least one person I know in my life who would be happy to engage in that conversation. While I make everything blue, this game truly is something, and I am absolutely enthralled with it so far. I like huge. I, I'm really liking this so far. It's like honestly, it started off feeling a little, a little like a uh, little cutesy, 
but it really tackles a lot. I mean, I feel like it, maybe it doesn't tackle issues, but it very much like dares to bring things up. And I personally, I, I very much appreciate that in uh, any form of media, like something that just kind of dares to say something. I like, I really appreciate that. It dared to talk about political things. It dared to talk about like things pertaining to the self and mental health and stuff like that. I really, I, I really get behind that. I really appreciate that. Mochi. Hey, you want to get a haircut? Yeah, I want to get a haircut. Sure. What kind of haircut could we do? How long do you want it? I am going to bring it back to my olden days and make my hair long. Do you want a cut that's more cool or cute? This is definitely giving me Animal Crossing vibes. Cool, because I got sunglasses on. Should it be more pretty or tough? I think cool, but also pretty. What do we got? Snip, 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 snip. Ta-da! What do you think? All right. I'd like to try something else, because I'll admit, not really my style. Let's let's change my answers. How long do you want? I'll go long, like the long. Cool or cute? I'll go with cool, but maybe somewhere in between pretty and tough. In between pretty and tough. I think that's good. Ta-da! What do you think? Oh, okay. It's... Oh. It, it kind of looks the exact same. Um, let's try something different. Oh, uh, well, that's all I got. Oh. What What if I make it cute this time? How long? Long. Cool or cute? I want cute. And pretty. What do we got? Oh, okay. Pom-poms. You know what? I think, I think I'm just going to stick with the classics. I'm going to stick with that. I'm gonna stick with the classics. I kind of like that little, like, tuft that we got going on there. I like it. It reminds me of my curls. Thank you, sir. Want to get a haircut? No. But I appreciate the offer to do so. To provide the cutting of said hair. There's a canvas over there to note about. <laughs> Crash over here. I can't jump up here, can I? I cannot jump. Jumping over there is not a part of the options. Can I jump in this manhole? I'm jumping the mail hole. Just kidding. What's in here? Oh, is this a trash exchange? Hey, look at that! Croquette, what's up? Oh, you actually came. Well, this is the plant exchange. We'll take litter and trash, give you plants in exchange. It's a new program we initiated to try to clean up picnic. So if you spot any litter lying around, pick it up. And if you have trash, don't leave it on the ground! Ah, uh, the bigger the plant, the more litter we take in exchange. Uh, the growing plants on the far right might seem a bit small, but if you plant them and leave them for a while, they'll get really, really big. Litter can show up in all kinds of places, and fortunately, it tends to be more gray or darker colored than other things, so keep an eye out for things like that. Take any plant you like. I will. I want this one. Exchange it for the growing plant? Yes. Thank you. Oh, there's plenty of types. Okay, so I can get big plants, small plants. I feel like I should grab at least one of each for now. Let's go with that. Big plant. Big, pe big large plant. Large, lovely plant. Cool. Flower bush. Bush flower. Oh, I like that carrot thing. I, I really like that carrot thing. Let's get another potted plant. Actually, I don't even have any potted plants yet. But we will have potted plants. And then I feel as if growing plants are advantageous. Growing plants? Yes. Now I've got some more growing plants. Okay. Thank you for your patronage, Croquette. I will definitely come back for more at some point. Can I plant my thing over here? What if I plant a flower, right? Oh, sorry for blocking traffic. Sorry, I'm the wielder. Excuse me while I block traffic. Just kidding, I don't want to do that. Uh, shooting star, uh, seedling. Seedling? Seedling. Oh, I got like five of them. What if I put it, like, right here? There we go. Can I paint it? A color? I'm just gonna leave that. I don't know if that's gonna be advantageous to me eventually, but... Can't bounce on top of it. It's okay. Even if it's just for aesthetic purposes, I like it. So now... Oh, what's this? Come to my rooftop party. Just head north. I went to the rooftop party. Now it's really a party. Hi, child. I will take child. So where are these bugs at? Tea Time Meadows is in that direction. How are you feeling, Fennel? Man, dinners just ain't the same anymore. The color wipe really killed the vibe. 
This wall, for instance, it used to have a beautiful mural. I'd see it every day and it inspired me to live a beautiful life. Without it, there's really nothing to inspire me. I guess my life just sucks now. I will inspire you, Fennel. When I think of your name Fennel, what could inspire Fennel? Fennel, when I think of Fennel, I think of a star anise. Fennel, I also think of licorice. When I think of licorice, I think of Jägermeister. When I think of Jägermeister, I think of cocktails. When I think of cocktails, I think of drinking. When I think of drinking, I think of alcohol. When I think of alcohol, I think of depressants. When I think of depressants, I think of depression. You need something that inspires in depression. But when you realize that it's depression, all the energy it took for you to realize that it was depression will bring you back to inspiration. And so with that, I am going to paint you an exquisite depressive moral, mural. There you are, Fennel. I give to you my mural. It is depressive because you thought there'd be more, but there is not. But that's to remember, to allow you to be inspired, to do more, because I have done less. Ah, you finished painting this wall? Yes, it is done. Wow! Yo, looking at this, it actually doesn't make me feel better at all. Exactly! <laughs> How am I supposed to improve my life? Trash. That's fine. That's something to encapsulate how I feel. I'll be on the lookout for other external sources of joy. To be fair, that is exactly how I intended it to be. So, you're welcome. Was there anything up in this direction? Hey, another person. Onion! Oh, man. Do you know Chicory? That's so wicked, dude. I'm a big, big fan. Your colors made the world feel so alive and magical. You can even feel her spirit bursting out of every stroke. That may be more on ball, on the ball, on the money than you realize, Onion. But yes, there I believe there's a little bit of her soul in every stroke. She must be so cool in person. I saw Chicory once when she was the wielder filling in dinners. I really wanted to say something, but I was so nervous <laughs> and she looked busy. So I just kept walking. I still think about it sometimes though. Like, what if we became friends, then? I'm not like an artist or anything. I'm a pretty decent DJ, though. Do lots of parties and clubs and stuff. Maybe Chicory isn't really the club type. But I guess we just live in different worlds. There is something in this tree that keeps popping around. What is in that tree? Oh, a child! You were bouncing in between the trees! If you keep bouncing like that, you're gonna hurt yourself. Or not. I don't know. You do your thing, you know? Whoops. There we go. Go in here. Is there trash? Wow, look at that mural! It's so inspiring, right? First it depresses you, then it inspires you. Indeed, it's an odd dichotomy. How do you feel, Peppermint? This is a really good mural. I feel like it shows a different side of you than we've seen before. It's cool that you're so talented, but you're still evolving and trying new things. Nobody appreciates you enough. Nice. Brussels sprout. As an art student, I'm trying to keep up with the wielder's work. It's cool to see you take your skills to the streets. Is, is that... Uh, I, I said it right, right? Did I say it right? Well, anyways, uh, yeah. Stevia? Yeah! Oh, man, I love seeing this outsider art. You've adorned this wall with your creativity, and in doing so, snatch some power straight from the establishment! Although, I, I, I guess, you know, the whole wielder thing enforces an ancient hierarchy with gatekeeping rules and power dynamics, which basically makes you the, the establishment of art. So, I guess, like, I, I, nothing really transgressive happening here, but just more of the establishment exerting its dominance over us common artists. Oh, man, I hate that. Exactly, that was the point. Here, have some red. I've determined your color for you. This is indeed the establishment. There's nothing more establishment than that. Oh, Clementine, you're hanging around here now? Yeah, I'm gonna get my slice on. I always knew this place was great. It's nice to see them getting more traffic now. Yeah, you're right. Did I miss anything in this area over here? Or perhaps up here? Perhaps more trash? Pepper! Ah! Have you seen a little skunk around? It was just here. I looked away for one hot second. Have you seen him? I found some lost kids. No skunks, though. Sorry about that. I can't believe I let this happen. I stitched our address into his kerchief so if anyone finds him, and you can send a letter. Oh, but the post office is in total disarray. Oh, God. I'm not sure what to do. I've run around screaming all day. I, I, 
Uh, but I probably shouldn't leave this spot. What if he finds his way back and I'm not here? Oh, what if somebody finds him and sends a letter and I'm not here to receive it? I'm going crazy! There's an epidemic of lost kids in the picnic! It's natural for kids to go climbing on their own, but letting the color white must have confused so many of them. This is horrible. This shouldn't happen to anybody. Hey, who's on the phone? Hello? Hello? This is Sushi Mac. Hey, yo, it's Salt from the clothing shop. I'm trying a new telemarketing strategy, but I don't have anyone's numbers, so uh, I'm just calling random phone booths. But thanks for being the first to pick up! You've we got a brand new product here that you're absolutely gonna love. Do you ever feel like you have too many clothes? Such a hassle to sort through them all, am I right? Well, don't worry anymore. Our new product will solve all those problems and more. Your life is gonna be so super duper stupendous. I promise. Come to Clothing Slot Swap in Potluck and see for yourself. Uh, okay, bye, Salt. I don't know how I feel about that. I get spam calls and telemarketing stuff like all the time and that just wow that, that spoke to me on a different level completely <laughs> super cool rooftop party just one screen left from here i've been over there how do i get on top of this pipe oh i wonder can i yo i can totally can i can i go up that pipe oh i can't oh i thought maybe i'd be able to go up the pipe can i bounce bouncy bouncy bounce what if i go on top of that building Interesting. All right. There's definitely a, something to be something to be said there. Can I go underneath the fence? Cuz I'm the nope. What if I go around the fence? Hey, but dude, hey. Hey, friend. Uh person who's angry at the world. What's up? Hey, can I can I, can I help you out? Oh, sweet. Hey, uh name Stevia. Probably saw me and thought, what a tough-looking guy with smarts about the streets. And, well, you'd be 100% correct. I've got my own graffiti tag and everything. The one with the teeth? Right there. On the ground. See that? I saw it up there. I saw that. I did. Besides here, I've got it on four buildings and dinners. So, hey, do me a favor. Color in all my graffiti tags. That'll make a pop. If you do, I'll give you something nice. 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 That's two, and I think I know where the third one is. I can't bounce up there, can I? Can I grab litter from up the... How do, how do I get up there? How, how does one? Maybe if I put a growing plant... I don't know. I don't know if yet if the growing plants themselves are something like that can help me traverse the world around me or not. I'm not sure, but I am willing to give it a shot. Let's try this seedling and just like... I don't know. Let's put it there. I can't bounce on up like that. That's cool, though. Actually, how'd I get out of here? Can I bounce over, like, a thing? I can't bounce over that. How do I get out of here? Can't bounce. Can I bounce? I can't bounce on the phone ju booth. Uh. Yo, Stevia, how do I get out of here? <laughs> it took me all the- It took all this effort for me just to get inside. How do- Uh. Uh. Huh. Huh. Can I jump off a cliff? No. Can I go? Is, can I go around the other side of the building? Maybe. No. Oh, maybe I can just like do that. Oh, that worked. Yeah. All right. All right. Whew. Why are we stuck? Two. I know there's another claw fang thing right there that's been colored in. Yep. There's a fourth one. Where could it be? Hmm. I'll walk around the city for a little bit, see if I can find that last one, and then I'll go say hello to... What's his face again, whose name already escapes me? Claw? Claw, there we go. Let's head on back and see what we can find. Nope, not you. Stevia, that's what his name was. Stevia! It's like Steve. But, uh... Bounce. Stevia, I did it! Eh, I'm kind of a wild guy. I do what I want, and I don't care what people think. You dig? So yeah, go color my tags on the buildings and diners. Looks like you've got one left. I'm I'm sorry. How many were there? Oh, I thought there were four. Oh, maybe you were saying four, as in there was four four left than the ones that were already colored in. I I think I understand that. Oh, there's another one. Nice. There we go. 
That's fine. I, I pick up what you're putting down there, buddy. I get that. I totally do. So, give me a thing. Oh, nice. All my graffiti tags are looking colorful and beautiful. Thanks for that. Take this. Nice. I like that. That's something... That's something wild. I'm gonna replace my heart with it. And then use it on the ground. I nicked that off some dorky art student. Okay, okay, I'm just kidding. It's a legitimate purchase and not stolen property. Just thought that would sound cool. Have fun with it! People are always asking me, Stevie, how are you such a cool and tough guy? Trick is, you gotta stop crying. About anything. Don't get attached to nothing or no one. Was it trying or crying? I missed that. <laughs> then nothing can hurt you. If you don't cry about things, if you don't take anything personally, nothing can hurt you. I don't play by the rules. Yeah, watch out, buddy. We live in a society. We do. This is this is true. I can guarantee that. Can confirm that we live in a society. I don't know what the working definition of society is by that regard, but... You know. Whatever. I want to try that pattern. So, I'm going to make the ground all blue. This type of blue. And I'll put red splotches over it. So it looks like blood spatter. Maybe. Let's try that. Oh, it's a way for me to... Oh, look at that. That's so cool. Nice. I like that. I call this one... Dragon. As in, dragging my soul across the floor. Hey, who's in the tree? Hey, get out of the tree. Out of the tree. Yep, get out of the tree. Yep, get out of the tree. There we go. Got you, little one. Who lives here? I don't know. Let's see. Spinachi. Hello, Spinach. Spinachi. What's up? A little free province. That's my dream for a picnic. Wouldn't, be, wouldn't that be lovely? But for it to come true, we've got to pick it all up. I'm trying to do my part, but there's just so much. Right now, the place you've been with the most litter would be dinners. There's litter on three screens there. I It'd be so beautiful if not for the litter. Okay, so you're the guy I go to if I want to know where the litter is. And the guy down south towards uh, the other area. Oh, look at that. Can I bounce? Can I bounce around? Can I bounce in the water? No, it doesn't seem like... Hmm. Seems like an ability that I don't have access to yet. Pretty cloudy over there, though. But then the guy down south talks about collectibles and gifts and clothes, clothing items and stuff. Oh, hey. Grub Caverns. That looks like a place that I should totally go into. Grub Caverns. Spooky. Spooky wooky. What else is there to find? Oh, that's the upper, upper half area over there. Oh, there's a present in there. Look at that. Lovely. I don't know how to get there. Not right now, at least. Hmm, what else does the darkness have in store for us? Huh. Nothing in particular. Can I bounce up there? Can I bounce? May I bounce? More lights? More things? Are there vines around here to help me? There's a thingy over there. And the bugs will help me with that. Oh, look at that. Okay. That's convenient. More surfaces. Oh, look at that. Okay, okay. Ah, can I bounce up? I cannot bounce up. So... Oh, I bounce across. Pick up some litter. That's great. I bounce across again. Then I color in up here. And then I bounce, and then I bounce, then I bounce again. That was pretty... I like that. I like that a lot. Let's do blue in this cavern. Big old blue colors. Oh, no. Not the bugs. Anything but the bugs. I can bounce over there like that. Convenient. Okay, there's a thingy over there. No! No, don't do that! I wanna go up. Oh, there's bugs right there, too. Ah, uh, but there's also bugs in this direction. Hmm. I like this. I like the colors! So I was already down there, but I wanna get up there if possible. I don't know if I'll be able to do that, though. Oh, no, I don't want to get up there. I just want to proceed to the next area. The next area appears to be over there. Unless, is there some over here? No. Oh, what is this? Oh. Huh, 
A present. Oh, hello. Gift. Do, 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 do. A bell. Cute. It kind of looks like the safari hat from before. Honestly. Oh, I can't go up unless I color the whole vine. The entire vine must be filled. Let's get him. Oh. Bounce. 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 Bounce over. Oh, where's the... Where's the way to go again? Did I ever actually figure out what to do? Oh. Maybe I didn't. Was there something down here? It was just... Oh, wait. There's an area down here to go. Okay. Ah. Nice. Oh, a lot of bugs. Hello, bugs. Oh, they all... Ah, I, I, ah, I see. They go towards the light. That makes sense. Descent to feast. Oh. Shortcut to surface. Bugs only. I'm not a bug. Can I try it anyway? Oh. Oh, what is this? Interesting. That's the walls. Oh, because they can... Oh, it's a shortcut to the surface. It looks like a wall that they can climb up. And I can't climb up walls. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. It's fine. Maybe my next ability will be able to draw upon walls and climb up them. This is grub deep. As in it's deep in the grubs. Deep in the grubby grubbiness. Yeah, I feel like this is a concept I'm going to become familiar with soon. Who is saying, ah, oh, watch out? Oh, it's a bug. Ah, watch out! Ooh, he almost stepped on me. Ah, Prunus, the royal bug ambassador. I'm waiting to take you to the queen. Queen Thrasera. Rule of all insects. She's, well, she's not accustomed to outsiders. But this matter is serious, so you'll need to meet her. Our city is deep. Deep down at the heart of these caverns, the path might be tough for a non-bug like you. Well, I'll see you down there. Bye. I suppose I'll see you then. Can I go up this thing? I cannot. Buggy, buggy, bugs. Buggy, 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 bugs in the deep. Buggies in the deep. Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa. I've seen this before, haven't I? Have I seen this before? I feel like I have. That's interesting. They've got a lot of legs. That is an uncomfortable amount of legs. That's fine. I don't mind. I don't mind. So I lead you away. Yes, there we go. That's how I would. Oh, look at this. You got big old things on your head. So if you go over... Ah, I like that. This song gets a little mischievous. I certainly hope it does. I like this so far. That's got, it's got a nice bop to it. Do, 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 do. Bounce. Bounce. I like the plucking of the strings. I feel like a very common, like, musical thing that you do with strings is portray, like, bugs. Because bugs are like little, like, like, uh, uh, I'm thinking of, like, Flight of the Bumblebee. Like, the... That's all strings. That's cool. The, 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 the plucking of strings really makes it feel very bug-like. Gothy. I'm cool with it. Death. Dying. Mortality. Thoughts of that. Thoughts of my mortality. Yeah, cool with that. Oh, come on. Ooh. And I'll bounce across as you move around. Nice. It's a little dissonant, too, this song, too. With the plucking. But I like it. It's nice. It's got that... It does feel very mischievous. But it also feels... Something else. I'm trying to figure out the word for it. Like, like as if something's coming. As in, like, this this song is forewarning me of something else. Which I suppose is pretty mischievous. Or mischievous. Can you go down? You can't go down. Oh, but you know what I can do? I can get up on... Ah, I get up on top. I bring you over here. So I can walk upon you. Or, or do that. It's fine. Okay. Guess we're chewing up that stuff now. Bring you over here. There we go. And then I bounce over there. Nice! A nice shirt. Nice! That's fine. Where else to go? Oh, there's litter on top of there, so... Bug, take me. Take me to your litter. Take me to your litter. <laughs> That's funny. I got a personal kick out of that one. Take me to your litter. 
Take me to your litter could mean one of two things. Take me to your litter could mean take me to the trash that is not placed in the proper receptacle or take me to your most recent uh, birth cycle of children. Like, like, like a litter of kittens or a, a puppy just had it or a, a dog just had a new litter. Like that kind of litter. So what I want to do is bring you over here as well as bring you over here so that I may bounce over there. Oh, I did that wrong. Oh, I see. Mm. I understand why this might get a little frustrating. I have to get up there. Uh, I see, I see. So I gotta make sure I do this right the first time. Come on. There we go. Do, 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 do. Over here. Over here. Eat the, eat the paint. Consume the paint, if you will. Then I'll step on top of you. You're cleaning up stuff over there. Take me you over here. Nope, over here, please. If that's at all possible. Thank you. Ah! Ah! Oh. Third time's the charm. That's what they say. I, I say. I say too. I say too. The third time is going to be the charm here. Climb on up. Get over there. Practice makes perfect, too. And this is all practice for, I'm sure, even harder trials that might lay ahead. Nope. I want you to go forward over there. Over there, please. Thank you. Maybe I should make this path a little smaller so I can get you exactly where I want you to be. Yes! Third time was indeed the charm. Thank you, random chance. I appreciate that. Yarg, be careful! It must be hard for you to see in this dark. Well... Good news! City's just ahead. I hope it didn't scare you too much about Queen Drosera. She is a massive, ancient beast of the darkness. But also a total sweetheart. I'm sure you'll be fine. Come along now. Okay. Um, lead the... Lead, lead, lead the way, I guess. That's fine. Oh, that was trash. Wait, pick up trash. Trash. No trash down here. There's probably quite a bit of trash down here. What was that sound? Interesting. Ooh, that maple tea of mine is getting mighty, mighty bitter now. Most likely because uh, the tea bag is still sitting in there, and it has been for about two and a half hours. I'm going to take that out of there. Step my tea. No, I dropped it back into the tea bag. Alas. Alas, alas, alas. There we go. It's a little messy, but that's okay. Oh, drats! The way to the city is just down from here, but these rocks have fallen away. What an inconvenience! Well, not for me. I can crawl around them easily. But life's hard for a non-bug, isn't it? As an ambassador, I've learned a lot about cultural sensitivity. I suppose you'll need to find a way through. Don't worry, I'll wait patiently for you. Cultural sensitivity. Learned a lot about cultural sensitivity. <laughs> That's crazy. I like the set- like the satire- uh, there's a lot of satire I feel to this game. I like that. Oh, man! The plucking's intense as well, but that guitar. Oh man. Ooh. I see what you mean there. Einjil. If I'm pronouncing that correctly. Einjil. Einjil? I see what you mean. This is very cool. I very much like this. Oh, so I can put the ball on top. Ah, I put ball on top of. All right, this works. Yeah, it works. Angel. Ah, a ah, yeah, that, nice, nice. Angel, angel, nice. I gotta stop overthinking how to pronounce things. Thank you for the correction, by the way. I can put ball on top of bug and then let bug go over to where it needs to be. Observe. Yes. Nice. Awesome. Oh, but now I gotta, oh, I gotta, Oh, there we go. They bounce on over, push the ball ahead. Nice. Also, by the way, might I say how honored it is that I have an angel in chat? I usually don't I don't come so close to celestial beings. So this is truly an honor for me. Let's see what comes next. Somewhere, somehow. I need ball. Where is ball? Ball is up there. I need access to ball. How does one get to ball? Can I bounce on top of mushroom? No. I cannot. May I? 
I guess I'll go this way. That's the direction that I can go. Let's see about... Oh, Bug, can I lead Bug in this direction? Bug, come, can I come here? No? Uh, I don't know if I could do that. Well, you should be going around here so I can walk past you. There is ball there. But that is also... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that didn't really work. What if... If there's a way to get up there... Bounce? No. Bounce over here and over? No. I shall continue onwards to find a solution farther up ahead. Um, excuse, excuse me, ma'am, ma'am, can I, may I get past you real quick? Okay, thank you, thank you, appreciate that. Put a little paint down here, put a little paint down here, going down the thing. What else, though? You're also looking for color, it seems. But I can get... So now I can get over here, oh, okay, so now you can come over here, I can bounce on top of... Whoops. Whoops! Oh, please, ma'am, please, I don't... I don't like this. I, I would like to- I would like to not be stuck in the wall if that's okay. You- hey, you have your space and I have mine. Let's just respect that. Okay, oh, that actually worked incredibly well. Okay, so now, maybe ball over here? No, there is no ball here. Okay. A little bit of a labyrinth going on here. I'm cool with that. I can't go up there. Can I bounce? Can I bounce? Cannot seem to bounce. That goes across this way. Can you come down like this cliff down here? No. If only there was a way. I can't go up that, can I? No. Oh, I should be... Oh, duh. I should be going this way. No. This way. Yes. I can lead you... Over here, maybe? Can I bounce across the other side? I'm gonna try that. No. Not like that, at least. What would help me the most considerably? Oh, wait. No, no, no. D duh. I go up that way. I need to get past you somehow. There we go. Then bounce across there. Now I've got access to this old rock guy. Who will do what for me? What kind of benefit may you be able to provide for me? Without just kind of pushing me off the edge. Um, I am clearly stuck. No, why would you? Oh, why would you do that? Oh, that's okay. I feel like I may be onto something. Potentially. I need to get around you, please. Get around you. No. Oh. Oh, you big old bumbling land masses of bug thing. Oh, you, you are there now. Can you, like, go way over there? Yes, and then I can bounce this way, and then can I bounce up on top? Oh, okay. No. No. Nope, that's... No. I can't bounce on top of Bug. Where go from here? I'm a little stumped on that. I'll admit. A little stumped on this one. What if I just color everything, and then the answer will become clear to me? The more I color, the more I discover. You're up there trying to do stuff. I bounced from here over to there. I would need to get on top of that guy in order to proceed further. I can't bounce on top of those little mushroom things growing out of the wall. Can't bounce over there. Can I bounce, like, through here? Is there a... Nope. I cannot go that way. I want to be able to get over there. But how do? Leaping's not working for me. I'm trying to think of how these bugs are to assist me. Can that bug fall down? Can I lead it down this little cliff down there? Can you, can you fall down cliff? No, you can't. Does that offer me any benefit, though? I don't see any way to go up another level. Not from here. Can't jump on top of Bug. Tried to glitch myself up on top of Bug, but that didn't work either. It's a matter of finding where to jump. Yeah, that's what it seems to be. Interesting. But where do you jump? If if I jump up there with a... Oh, wait a minute. 
<laughs> that would have been it if I was able to make the jump. I see, I see. It's a perspective thing. Perspective's giving me the, the, the annoyance. Right? That, that, no? It has to be. No, it's gotta be there. I would be eternally shocked if that's not where the jumpage needs to occur. Jumpage? What? I'm trying that at least one more time. I, I must. I must try again. What? Okay. Concepts that I've learned in the past. What can I do with those concepts? Where do you go? You go that way. Can I, like, color this block? I can't actually color the block, can I? No, I can't. I thought that maybe that would be funny. It's about finding where to jump. Where do the jumpage? That seemed like a really good jumpage location. Maybe the bug. I can't jump on top of the bug. That's definitely another level up. I'm gonna try to bring you back up here. To perhaps allow me to do a little more experimented over here. Bounce, 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 nope. Bounce, 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 no. Jump over that way. Jump on top of bug. From here to wherever. Wow. I can't bounce back across to the other one, can I? No, that just blocks me. Okay. D noted. Duly noted. Gonna bounce up there. Gonna bounce up there. I, I, There may be something here that I'm missing, like the ability to jump on one of these plants or something, or just the ability to fall down miraculously. There may be another vine somewhere that I'm not looking at. Let's, let's paint more. More paintage. More paintage means more color, and more color means inspiration. Inspiration to do great things? Maybe. Okay. That jump don't done work either. Interesting. Jump over here, and then maybe I can't I couldn't jump this way. No. Well, it's because those bugs are up on that on this level. Is there a way to get all the way up to the top up there? If I were to jump up on top of something... Maybe there's a concept that I'm missing. Hmm. Can I, like, go in through here? Okay, I can't go in through there. Can't go up through here. Wow, this is really stumping. I'm gonna check back a little bit. And see if there wasn't another direction that I could be going. Uh, let's see. I didn't try down there, I don't think. Or maybe this is where I came in. Is there... No, this is where I came in. Let me try down here. Let's see if there's another way to go. There might just be a present up there. That might be the thing. Oh, there's more stuff down here. Oh, big present here. Oh, well. Oh, that's a thing. I see that over there. I wonder if that'll help me. You're a bug. I know that. Where do you send people? Over there. If I were to leave the bug over here and then bounce myself... I am now on top of bug, which is advantageous. I'll go over here, leap myself this way, and then where do you go? Yeah, so you can go over here. Nope, I, I meant over here. Over here, please. Um, please make your way. Please make your way to the designated stopping area. Thank you. Okay, cool. And then I bounce. No, yes. Big present. Big pattern, maybe. Oh, that's an interesting brush style. This style makes straight lines and angles. Yo! That's pretty cool! I like that. I gotta try that. Straight lines and angles. Ah, I see. And it makes a grid! Oh, that is so awesome. Nice. That is very convenient. Anyway, don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. Time for more chicory. Where to... No, I guess this wasn't the right area to go. So I do need to go up there. Unless there's, in fact, a way to get over there. No. It does not appear so. All right. Back we go. Back up here. 
I feel that there is something that I am missing somewhere. Like a missing concept or whatever. Oh, I still have the brush doll equipped. Let's go back and see once more. I cannot go that way. If I can get up there, I can cross this gap, but there's still rocks on the other side. I had come up from this direction. Over here, there's a bubble. Can I bring the bubble with me? I'm going to try that this time. I'm going to see if I can bring the bubble with me. I don't think I can, but I think it might be worth a shot. Let's go around. Oh, maybe. Please. There we go. Take ball. Ball take. Take. I'm going to bring you to the next area. Maybe. Maybe not. For all I know, I could be completely incorrect about that. But there is only way to, one way to find out. No, 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 don't. Don't. Yep. Push ball. Push ball. And come with me. No, okay. That doesn't work either. Oh, well. All right. Back to jumpy area. Because there was only one ball and ball is there. Ball can't be pushed from that angle. So there must be other solution. Bounce across. Actually, what's the point? Wait a minute. What's the point of this bug here? If I can just jump over there, what's the point of this bug? Is there something else? That is there something that I might be missing? Again? Maybe. Oh, you know what? No, this will be useful when I get access to that ball down there. Aha. Aha. I managed to figure that one out. But still not this one. Okay. That is down there. We've determined. I am now down here. I can flop around here as much as I want to. But I don't gain very much from that. That's okay. I bounce from there to here. That's how I get to this area. I like that. That's cool. That is most certainly on a level that is higher up. Two times higher than this by bottom level and one times higher than this one, which would mean that it is on the level of this. However, I don't see any ledge that I can like climb up on. Can I climb? I can't climb up on these bugs, can I? Don't think so. Maybe you being in this spot down here will be of some interest to me. If I can figure out how to get on top of one bug, I can get on top of any of the other. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I think I got it. Can I do this? Aha, yes, yes I can. That made things incredibly clear, incredibly clear. Ah, yes. Oh, but wait, before I do that, I will collect the present on the other side. Yes. Aha! Big fungus. Oh, I like that. Oh, that is a very nice looking fungus. Sweet! There we go. Now I walk my way down there. I walk over here, up on here, and slip my way around. Nice. Okay, now what trials await us next? There's a rock. But I can make this bug push this thing, right? Maybe if I... Yes, that worked. Nice! More ball! Now I can do anything I want with ball! I'm gonna go up here and collect some trash. Change. Oh, trash? Trash. Excuse me. Trash. Now I want this ball up on top of this bug. So I will push, push, push ball, push ball, push ball, please push ball, ball, push, push ball, 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 push, pushing that ball, push it on the bug, and then allow you to go this way, or perhaps instead in this direction. You want to come over here? No. Oh, maybe I should get on top of this thing. I should be on top. No, it exploded. That's fine. I've got an idea now. You, you should go over here to get ready for when I bring the ball back to you. And then I will also go on top of it as well. 
That will be advantageous. There we go. Now I stay up on top as well. Make our way over here. Then I can push ball. Push. Ball. Ball push. Nice. Oh, there we go. Hey, look. <laughs> ball. I can use this to explode those ones. Sending me back. Sending me forward. Taking ball to other places. Like down there. Awesome. All right. I feel like that, that jumping part was probably one of the more difficult areas. Not too bad now. Now it ain't so bad at all. That ball looks like it could use some convincing, but not from this angle. So... Oh, I need ball over there. I need rock over there. Oh, but you know what? It'd probably be more advantageous to go over here for... Nope. There. Here. Up here. To get to the other area. I can use... Then, I'm gonna go down here. Grab that gift. Spike helmet! I like the fungus better, to be perfectly honest. I need to go down here. Scoop my way through. Scoop my way up. Bring myself down. Yep. Across. And forward. To another area. This also has ball with explodey bits. Hello, ball with explodey bits. Would you like to explode? And now I guess I've kind of unlocked an easier way to get over here. And a way for me to get up on top of this guy. Uh, whoops. That was not fun. Aw, oh, dude. Dude. Why I gotta go eating up on my thingies? Bugs like paint. So now I can put ball, ball up on thingy. Ball up on the bug. Bug over here. Bug here. There we go. Explodey. That's okay. I can go back up there. At least that path has now been made available. And then I also need this ball to be passed over to the other side on that other bug. Oh, come on, please. There we go. Go over here. Push ball. Push. Ball push. Ball push. All right, litter first. Then push ball. No, push ball. Ball, go down. There we go. Now I need to push that on top of this bug. Nice! Yeah, this is all coming together now. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. Kronk meme. Okay. Now, make ball over here. Oh, did not want to do it that way. That's okay. I can just push ball that way. There we go. Down. And then explodey bits. Oh, nice. I like games that have puzzles like this where all the areas like kind of work in tandem with each other. I like that. I think that is very cool. And I am very much enjoying this. I like this game very much. If I haven't said that already. Oh, and I can, yes. Skirt my way around the edges. Ba -da -da, da -da 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 -da. getting lost in that music it's very nice oh ball nice and now also ball would you like some paint i've got paint for you paint paint down here paint D down yes very good very good except the paint except the paint feel the pain and the paint the paint pain oh that's what chicory's going through oh maybe, maybe don't feel the paint pain we don't need to feel the paint pain more ball. Access over. Oh, nice. Okay, and now I can use this ball to go down this way. Feast. 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 The area known as Feast. Buggy boy. You finally made it. Well done. It's just a bit further now. I can't wait. Oh, cool. I, I mean, I, yeah, I can't wait either. Nice. It's nice. It's lovely. Sit down. Enjoy the sights for a little while. We'll do a little painting. Yeah, make things purple. Bugs strike me as purple. Or rather, the word feast strikes me as purple. I like that. It's very nice. I like that. More more paint? Y'all don't like... Y'all don't like 
colors, do you, though? Or maybe you do like colors. You feed upon the colors. Is that why you come to the surface? Honestly, I, I'd love to find out more. And I hope I found out more from the folks at Feast. Many more bugs. This is it! The entrance to Feast! You'll be the first wielder to visit in decades! What a huge, exciting moment. Are we going to zoom in a little closer? Um, listen, I hope this isn't rude, but you don't look very excited. You seem a bit sad. Oh, uh, well, I, I guess I am. Oh, sorry, I've just been thinking about a fight I had with a friend. Oh, I see. Uh, but to be honest, I'm starting to feel like I shouldn't even be the wielder. Oh! Chicory is an amazingly talented artist. And I'm nobody. I don't think I belong here. Well, I understand how you feel. You do? It's really tough being the royal bug ambassador. I've learned so much about non-bug cultures. Just speaking your language is really tough for a bug like me. You barely have an accent. I couldn't even tell. Thank you. All my life, my skills have been totally useless. Actually, they make me very different. They make me different from everyone. So I don't feel like I belong here either. You're the first non-bug I've ever met. Oh, wow. Sorry, I... It must be really disappointing. No, no. You're lovely. I think you're doing a great job. You come when we needed you. You came when we needed you. That's what really matters. Um, and for once, I don't feel useless. So thank you. Thank you very much. Anyways, let's go meet Queen Drosera. Is Drosera like a food? Or maybe a dressing? Maybe all the bugs here are named after dressings. Question mark. Can I call your letters? I can't, I can't call your letters. That's unfortunate. Um. Shwaw. 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 Can I keep talking to you? Apparently I can. Not sure why I would. If I draw color, like, oh, I can color down here. <laughs> no bugs that eat color down here. That's pretty cool. I like that. Oh, there's a cave. Uh, is there litter around here? I'm gonna look and see if there's litter and more guys to talk to, like you. Yes. Large, large bug. But I will talk to you nonetheless because I feel a kinship with your kind. You are surrounded by trash and you seem disgusting. You're not disgusting. You're beautiful, especially you. What's your name? Okay, awesome. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. I like your energy. And for that, I will paint things red. Maybe if I talk to everybody, something good will happen. Like you. Hello. 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 Yes, indeed. How about you? How you doing? Can I bounce up there? Cannot. It seems. Zoom! Goes the folks outside. Any more trash? Hello, you. Yes, yes. Same story, different day. How are the wife and kids? I don't know you. Why am I asking these questions? You don't have a wife and kids? Oh, unfortunate. Neither do I. This feels like the royal entrance. Okay! This is Queen Drosera's lair. I've spoken to the guards, so you can enter. Um, just one thing. You can't speak bug, can you? No? That's okay! Give me just a moment. I'll get a translator. Uh, that tickles. Yes, I'm here on your head. I'm here on your head now. I'll help you to understand Queen Drosera's wretched... Utter... Wretched utterances. <laughs> nice. Well, go on then. All right, we shall. Would you like some red? I'm making your kingdom red. Um, hello. Hello? A hello in there. Those look like large legs. You have beautiful legs. Have I ever complimented you on your legs? That's beautiful. You are Whoa! Surface Dweller! Hi, I'm Surface Dweller. How are you? How dare you enter our chamber? Looking so darn cute! Thank you. Oh, we can't stand it. We swear each wielder gets cuter than the last! Um, but to be fair, you haven't seen the last couple of wielders, so... You see? 
I warned you. She's so embarrassing. Oh, hush, Prunus. So, you'll help us, won't you? We don't know why or where they've come from, but we're besieged by black roots from above. They're cramping poor us in our hole here. It's totally cramping our style. And they're scaring off our citizens, too. Our pact with the wielders means you owe us assistance. Oh, okay. Um, I, I see... I'll see what I can do. Hmm, you don't speak buzz, we suppose. I mean bug, not buzz. That may be tricky. Prunus, you would be a deer and live on this one's head? Of course, it would be my pleasure. Uh, won't that be awkward? Oh, no, no, it's a dream come true. I get to learn so much about the surface world. Don't worry, I'll be completely out of your way. Just think of me as head lice, except I'm not going to be a problem. I can keep your ears clean, too. No, no, no! All right, it's fine. Yeah, you can keep your ears clean. Well, sure, I guess, yeah. My ears, I don't like washing behind my ears. Me as in Sushi Mac, not me as in Mimi. I like to wash by my ears. Let's try to keep myself clean. We wish we could live with an adorable surface dweller, too. Well, the main tangle of roots is south of Feast. Our guards will let you through to see it. Best of luck to you, little wielder. Ancient beast of the darkness. We're so glad to have met another wielder. They come only so rarely. And truthfully, the last one we met wasn't nearly so cute. We have been law about for a long, 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 long time. But you little wielders seem to come and go so quickly. So sad, we always miss them. We used to live on the service once. So long ago now, we were much smaller. Then things were easy. We remember the sun, so hot and bright. We remember that first wielder and their delightful colors. Ah, precious memories. I'm glad. So long as you're happy, I'm happy, Queen Drosera. I think we can continue to vibe for that forever and ever and ever. Oh, oh, I can speak the language now. Oh, nice. Did you meet the queen? I'm so jealous. Isn't she amazing? Beautiful? I want to be as huge as her when I grow up. The queen is the oldest of all the bugs. She's so wise and great. I don't think anyone knows why she's so big and so old, but I hope she stays that way forever. The queen never, ever leaves her lair, so it's pretty rare that anyone gets to see her. You have to be pretty important. I'm the wielder. Does that make me important? I hope I can be important enough someday. I hope so too, for your sake, so that you may enjoy it. Oh, that's so cool. I can talk to the bugs now. Valenberg, yeah. Did you and the queen have a nice chat? She's really something else, right? She, it's very rare that we, even we get to speak with her. So, uh, don't take it for granted. I'll try not to. Thank you, sir. I will keep that in mind. Any buggy boys down here? Sphagnum. I don't like these black roots. They say it's something that grew from above. That surface world must be a horrible place. I'm really worried. I won't say anything, but I, mean, I think the roots are hurting the queen. Ah, she's so big. What if she get pinched? Ah, poor queen. Poor, poor queen. They are all queens. They all are. Mm, mama. You in charge of making all that tasty color, right? Mm, looking like your breath makes me hungry. Uh, not all buggy color. Just saying, but I sure do. I was sad when it all just suddenly disappeared. Please make as much as possible. Here. I give you color! I grant for you some color. Eat, eat, eat your color. Eat your color, eat your color. Yum, 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 eat the color. Well, Miconia, do you like that? It's rare for the color person to be here, but they're probably the one surface dweller who comes. Because of a pact with the queen, it means more tasty color for us, so it makes us happy. Oh, well, that's good to hear. As long as we're making people happy, that's what we're here for. Isn't that right? Isn't that right, Sushi Mac? Yes. Now I gotta talk to you. Malvakie. Oh, can you understand us now? <laughs> uh, oops, sorry about that. Th thanks. You're welcome. Was there somebody over here too? 
Oh no, there wasn't. There was not anybody over here. But if I go upward, I believe there was somebody hanging down right. Was there? No? There's a cave. What's in cave? Yo, what are you doing? Oh, you have a chest out here too. Ixora. Oh, my love. I've never spoken with a surface dweller before. Uh, this, wow. Oh, this is a very big deal for me. I'm a huge fan of your surface culture. I love collecting your, uh, litter, I believe you call it. Fascinating, delicious little things. Do, do you have any? If you give me some, I'll trade for things I've collected. Do you hear much about feasts in your surface world? Not really, no, not, not really at all. Oh, I see. Well, you are quite mysterious to us all. I've heard of bugs who went up to live in your world, but it must not be easy. Give me some litter and you can have anything on display. A cultural exchange. Uh, cool thing. Small, cool things. Furniture, cool thing. Big. I'll give you cool stuff for that cool thing. Yeah. I like that. Tree bookcase. How stylish. I like that big old mushroom thing. I want that too. It's a lamp. Fungal lamp. For uh, the party on top of the roof. More lights mean more cool. A big rock. A big bed. Perchance. A large bed. Garden bed. Nice. Like that. Is that a computer? Is that supposed to be like a computer or something? Dirt computer. It is a computer. Nice. I totally vibe with that. Cool thing. Yeah. Fungus table. Are there more? Wow, there's a lot of big things here. Yeah, I'm just gonna buy all the big things. Soft dirt pile. Well, at least it's soft. Nice. Exchange some trash? Yes. I like the stump table. Oh, that that little thing there that I, looks like I can hang it on my wall. I'm totally like that. Grub hanger. Uh, I don't know what that is, but it's cool. Pedal stool. Oh, it's something I can sit on. And let's get this thing with my last piece of trash. Casual decorator achievement unlocked. Wonderful. Hey, that's pretty cool. I like that. So this is a this is a place to buy stuff. I will paint it accordingly. You can purchase things. Therefore, it has a pink top to it. This is nice and very this is very relaxing down here. Nice. What's your name? Ardicia. Do you know what this place is? When we reach a certain age, bugs come here to go into a hole for a while. While we're down there, we change and we grow. It's how we become adults. The majesty of life and growth is here before us. Huh, we have a period like that too. I wouldn't call it magical though. Choosing your hole is technically meaningless, but it has a lot of importance to us. We like to say there's the right hole for each bug. Some holes are used by the same family for generations. What about you? Do any of these holes feel like yours? Not particularly. But I'll make it mine. So many stories come from these holes. For example, how do you know when you're ready to go? I don't know. Uh, what happens when somebody waits too long to go to their hole? I can recommend some great books with tales like these. They're in the self-help section of the library. Oh, but I suppose you wouldn't be able to read them. I mean, I can with my special bug, helper, friend. Which hole speaks to me? The one that's got somebody in it. Well, how you doing? How you doing, Coria? Oh, oh, I can do it! I can do it, I can do it! I don't want to leave! Please don't make me! I'm not ready for the world out there! Everything's scary, but in my hole, everything's okay. I know I'm being a bit silly. I will leave here. Eventually. When I'm ready. Just leave me be. Okay. No, I believe you. That's that's okay. Take all the time that you need. Oh, there's nowhere else to go over here. Oh, okay. I guess I'll continue on to the right side. My bugs to talk to you? Hello there again. I can't remember your name, but I know it started with an M. Oh, hello you. Oh, I already talked to you as well. But I didn't color the area? How dare I? How dare I indeed. 
Okay. Let me go down here again. Hello, you, Krenum. Past here is dangerous. I'm supposed to keep folks out. But the queen says you're okay, so you're okay. Go on ahead and have a nice day. I'm gonna do a thing real quick, please excuse me. Boop. There we go. Awesome. Just had to take care of something real quick like. In the meantime, let's just vibe for the music. I just need to pick a quick message to somebody. Let's just vibe with the music. All right, cool, cool. We're all good now. Let's continue and have a nice day, Krynum, indeed. I haven't seen the growth much myself. I did take a peek, but boy, it's scary. I wouldn't want to be the one going in there. I've heard about your black trees. Never seen them grown down this deep, though. Something wild must be going on up there, huh? Yes. Yes, indeed. You could call it wild. Time to jump. Woo! There's no going back now. Can I jump up here? Can I jump? Can I do the jump? Can I do the jumpies? I mean, I'm, I'm guessing I will gain the ability to be able to traverse those walls. For sure. Otherwise, how will I be able to come back up? Hey, look! A tree. Hello! Whoa, hey -o. Oh, wow, look at that! Wow, would you look at that? Oh, yeah, look at that! It's mirror time! Interesting. Oh, okay. I understand. I understand now. There we go. Oh, this is a cool little puzzle thing going on here. Hello again. And eventually, I will be able to do all of them if I just... There we go. This doesn't seem th so threatening so far. Oh, okay. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's my... Oh. It's my mirror self. Sushi Mac. Huh? Huh? Give it up already. What do you think you're doing here? Uh, I, uh, uh, I'm not scared of you. But I am you. I know everything there is to know about you. Look at you, playing the wielder. You really think you should be the one holding that brush? Well, I, no, but I, I'm doing my best. Chicory trusted me with it. Ch Chicory? After what she said, you think she trusts you? Yes. No, she probably hates me. Of course she does. You're completely alone and embarrassing yourself. It's time we put an end to it. Or, or perhaps not. Oh, hello. Oh, if I hit me, I hit myself. Oh, I don't want to... Okay, I don't want to be in that little thing over there. Don't be in the darkness. I can paint over myself just fine. Okay. Oh, but you need to hit you with the pink, right? Hit you with the pink? Or... Oh, this is giving me Celeste vibes. This music here is giving me Celeste vibes. Oh, you're in there vulnerable right now. So just like, don't get caught in the yin yang. Don't get caught in the other side of the yang. Can I like, can I do anything with that? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, this ain't too bad. Oh, I need to use this color now. Oh, it's more difficult now. Oh God, please, no, 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 no. Hit you with the blue, hit you with the blue. And then I use the other color to hit when you're shielding. No, 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 no. Okay, not too bad. Now you've got your shieldy thing. Aha! This seems oddly familiar. Oh, very much so. It's very Celeste. The music. I have previously, when I was describing how I would listen to a like, bit of Lena Rain's music on my way to class and stuff like that, a lot of that music was from the game Celeste. And it's nice. I think it's a certain sound effect that she uses, or however she does on whatever synth, I suppose. But it's it's awesome. And it's very, like, it's very char uh, characteristically Celeste. Can I go on that side now? I don't think I can. Oh, don't touch. Don't touch. I can't get through that, can I? Ooh, hello. I cannot. It seems that I cannot get through the line. I have to wait. I have to wait and run away. Okay. Just don't get hurt. 
Don't get hurt. Don't get hurt. Don't get hurt. Oh dear. Hello. Or, or am I supposed to be doing something else here? I really can't. Oh, maybe I need to... I see... Oh, I see areas opening over there. Oh, maybe? Oh. Hmm. There are little white spots opening up over there if I jump in. Oh, it hits the other side too. I see now. Nice, nice, nice. If I lead my other self over there, I should be just fine. There we go. I'm gonna... Mm. This is really disorienting. But I'm okay with it. It's fine. It's fine. I'm good. Because it's like, it's basically backwards controls. No, no, no. No, dear. Yeah, I kind of fell in there. Yeah, definitely fell into that one. That's okay. A little bit of rewind. This was very disorient. Wow, incredibly disorienting. All right, yeah, I keep on doing that. That's okay. It's fine. It's fine. One more time. And then I go up there and just kind of go to the side. That'll that'll be my tactic. It'll just be kind of going to the sides like that. Uh, when I'm on this side. Kind of going to where it is and then going to the right. Wherever I know that you are. Whoa, what is going on there? I don't like that. Whoa, okay. Don't like that either. The stage changes. That's interesting. Very, very interesting. Very mind-boggling. But I'm cool with it. I'm very cool with this. It's like... I wonder if there are any other games out there that do stuff like this. Because I, for one, have never had... Never had combat experiences like this. This is very cool. Okay, we're switching again. That's okay. I much prefer that anyway. My fingers are getting a little hurting. On the... Ooh, don't want to go over there! There we go. I want to stay on that side if I can. I suppose. I guess we're just going to constantly switch like that, aren't we? No, come on. Please! Oh, I have to draw over myself now. Okay. It's exactly... Uh, it's okay. I didn't realize that I was completely mirrored again this time. Oh, I got whacked. No, that's not me. What a waste of time. I'm not going anywhere. The Black Forest will swallow everything. And it'll be all your fault. Bye-bye. I guess. Chapter 5. The Source. Damn. That's pretty intense. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a very quick break. And then we will continue on with Chapter 5. The Source. Be back in a moment, y'all. Peace out until then. Enjoy these parrots. And welcome back to everyone. It was a lovely break. I am back. And I've had a snack. So we shall continue with Chapter 5. The Source. Which... I am going to declare right now will be my last chapter for the day. So, I hope it takes... I hope we can stick around a bit longer. Let's go for it. Breaks are indeed healthy. Breaks are so healthy, especially when you eat healthy snacks, like peanut butter chocolate bars. Keep it healthy over here. Keep it very healthy. Power it up! Now the bond is better. And can I climb walls now? I can definitely climb walls now. You can now swim up vertical surfaces. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Swim upward. That's cool. Oh, excuse me. But I suppose only particular vertical surfaces. Right? Or can I like... Yeah, no, I, I can only do stuff like that. That's cool, though. I like that. I very much like that. That makes things easy and convenient. I can go back to the bugs and let them know what's going on. Um, excuse me. Did you take care of that black tangle? Yep, did it. Okay, because it would appear that, in fact, nothing has actually changed or improved. Well, thanks for your help. You might want to talk to the queen before you leave. I think I will. Let her know that, hey, it doesn't look like things changed, but they did. So, oh, I never colored in front of the queen's area. I think this color. That's beautiful looking. I like that. Onward to the inside to go talk to the queen again. Whoa, God, you came out really fast. She's... <sighs> okay. Hi, queen. Yes. Hi. Hello. 
<laughs> Taking a look at these roots yet, dearie? I did. I did. I sure did. But they haven't gone away. No, they haven't. Come to think of it, whenever I do go into one of those spooky trees, they never actually go away. They just close up. Ah. Then it seems you must find the true source of all the roots. The crows here are vicious, but they are only a symptom of a larger problem above us. That must be the only way to make them go away. The true source of the roots. I'm gonna guess that's Jakery. Where could that be? Where could that be? How are we supposed to know, darling? But surely somewhere in the service world, we're counting on you. Indeed. Bye. Goodbye. 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 Back to the surface, then. I'm gonna take a wild guess. Oh, Gruya, hello. I never talked to you. Oh, my, what a lovely little creature. How do you like my antennae? And my sleek little skin dots? Aren't they lovely? They must be overwhelmingly pretty for a foreigner like you. Boop. Yes. It's funny how you color yourself with those little colors. Without those, you must be very ugly, I guess, right? Oh, does it help to hide you from predators? I wonder so much about your funny surface culture. I love the little sounds you make. Oh, you're just so strange and lovely. Thank you, Gruya. You are also rather strange and lovely from my point of view. Cult cultural appreciation. I like that. That's good. And as we make our way back up, we'll try to find the source of these lovely trees. Can't be too bad. Wait a minute, what's over there? What do I, hmm, wait a minute. That's not an area I've been to. I can't hop across there, can I? Huh. Oh, can I go? Can I bounce this way? No, I can't. Okay. Can bounce that way. Where was the shortcut up to the surface? That was not that way. But I can climb up walls now. How significant is that? Beast is that way. Gotcha. The ability to climb walls. I'm not sure where that would come in handy, at least over here. But alas, I'm not in a completionist mode. Right? Oh, look at that. That would be pretty helpful. Can I jump down there? I can go down. Oh, yo. What's up, dude? Melaluca. Melaluca. This is a shortcut up to the surface world. Um, for bugs, I mean. I assume you can't climb up walls like us. Sometimes I'm jealous of the literal bugs. They can discreetly come and go to the surface world. But there's no way I'm sneaking out there. I mean, here's better anyway. Here's better anyway. But sometimes I wonder. A dude like you's gotta wonder, right? What could there be out there? In the surface realm? Don't be blue! Whoa! Whoa, you really can climb walls? You're pretty cool for a surface dweller. Indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Your applause makes me feel... good. Awesome. Grub caverns. Descent to feast, shortcut to surface, bugs only. Ah, that was the shortcut to the surface, bugs only. I understand now. Can I actually go up there? I can! Oh, and there's- wait, there was trash! There was trash. Litter! Yes! Back up to the surface. Awesome. Oh, I need to- I see a little. Oh, I see a child. Or sources of child. There we go. Little kitten lost child. Alright, sweet. Back to the town, I suppose. This is- Ah, look at that. Oh, but now I can climb up walls, meaning I can get into there. Ah, hey, Sushima, 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 it's all in lowercase levels. Ah, hey, Sushima, I've been looking everywhere for you. Um, the Wielder Tower in Luncheon. It's, uh, all right, well, something spooky's happening there. Uh, I mean, I guess it's not a rush, but, like, you should maybe check that out if you get a minute, okay? I'm going back home now. I figured that's where it needed to go next. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Up, up here. Go inside the little cavern. What do we got? It's a present. What's in the present? A spike. Nah, it's okay. I like my fungus hat very much so. Oh, I could use my colors to make it better up here. Oh, that's a lovely color for the tops of those trees. Oh, yes. Like mint green thing. 
go over here and I can go oh I can climb over here as much as I want to that's cool Doop. Doo -doo 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 -doo. oh I can't get the Ooh. I can't go past there can I I would have to get down oh you know what I bet there will come a time where I will be able to swim in the water maybe or find a technique to do so awesome dinner oh what are you doing over here uh raisin mmm I like your colors here there's just something about it feels right thanks dude appreciate that did you ever find your son or something child in the trees no wait a minute if I can climb walls now I should be able to climb to the top of this thing here maybe right yeah oh maybe no okay well if I color this whole damn thing then I can get the trash that's on top Nice, and I got trash. I can jump down from here, and I guess go on top of this thing, too. It says keep going, so I'll keep going. I'll climb this tower if it's the last thing that I do! Maybe. I'm at the top of the tower now, and there's a gift up here. Sweet! A beak. Nice. There are so many ways to customize. I love that. Can I just jump down? Yeah, I'm going down is probably a, the safer way. Without jumping. Oh, so that means I can actually climb up on top of any of these areas. I don't think I actually went to the post office. <laughs> hey, you. Aha! It's you, the new wielder! About time you showed up! We need to talk about mail! Do we? Okay, artichoke. Uh, what's up with the mail? What's up with the mail? It's going nowhere. That's that's what's up. My workers haven't showed up since the color wipe. Someone needs to deliver it. And that someone is you. Why me, exactly? Oh, because you're a public servant. And you travel around anyway. And it was your color wiping that got us into this mess. But no buts! Take this. Now I got a mailbag. Sweet. I also got mail. A letter to deliver. It's addressed to two screens right from the dinner's transit bench. You can check it any time on your collection screen. Come back after it's delivered. Okay. Two two screens left of the transit. All right. That was transit, right? Two screens left. Wait, two screens left? You mean right? Collections? Mail? Mail? Two screens right. Oh, it's right, not left. I somehow missed that. Okay. Achievement unlocked. Explorer. Sweet. So, I need to deliver it over here. Is there a mailbox to deliver it to? Two screens right. From the transit place. This is the transit place, eh? Right? Oh, is there a cat in there? Yes, there is. Child. I'm double checking that. Two screens right from the dinner's transit bench. Transit bench. Bench! Ah, that's down here. No. That's that's just to the right of the post office. You couldn't have just walked out and delivered it yourself? Do you, do you need a letter? Oh, a, le a letter for me! Let me see! Yes! Oh, oh, thank goodness. Yes, yes. Somebody named Beans has, lo has my lost son. <laughs> I was definitely worried. I'm so glad he's safe. All the way in luncheon? How did he water us so far, poor thing? I've got to hit the lunch right away. But thank you so much. I hope I'll see you again sometime. Bye, Pepper. I delivered a letter. My bail bag is empty. Go talk to the postmaster. All right. Postmaster extraordinaire. Me, Sushi Mac. Because Sushi and Mac. So, did you deliver the letter? Yeah. It was to someone, like, right outside. Are you sure you need me to deliver these for you? Absolutely, yes! This time, I've got a whole stack for you to deliver. Oh, go for it. A bunch of letters. Sweet. The first one's addressed to the middle of three square houses in a row. It's no wonder that you people keep quitting, my dude. If you want to deliver a different one, sort it out on your collection screen. Come on, I'm going to deliver those letters! Who knows how long those people were waiting for the mail? Trouble figuring out where to deliver letters? It's not easy, I know. If only there was some kind of standard way to address 
letters. But there isn't! So go figure it out yourself. I've worked this post office for decades. I started as a delivery person, just like you. Ah, brings back memories. Oh. But that's all they are. They're just memories. Nothing more. Go deliver your letters. Okay. It breaks my heart to see mail go undelivered. When people send letters, they put their faith in us delivering in the postal system. We're a symbol of certainty, stability. People need that faith. Without it, society as we know would collapse. Yes, mail is the very backbone of our civilization, and we are its champions. Now deliver, deliver those letters. Okay, pal. You didn't have to scream at me. Actually, you screaming at me has made it worse. Stevia? Hey, what's what's going on here? I, I've been the only guy going to the shop for years. Now all of a sudden they've got a logo? A huge lineup? Man, this place changed. Sold their soul to make a buck. <laughs> I gotta get some slice though. I never heard of this place, but all of a sudden everyone says it's cool, so I wanna check it out, but the line is so long, I'm so hungry. Maybe you should try something unpopular instead. Is there a line on the inside? Hey, look, everybody. Peppermint, what's up? I didn't know I could fall in love with the company logo. Ha, <laughs> but here we are. We have did it again. I never cared that much for Slice, but that's just because I never saw it through your eyes. Sushimak, you show me the beauty in everything. And Turnip. Oh, boy. I had such a trip getting here from Pop Luck. I got lost probably like six or seven times, huh? But now, I'm finally here. This line is my final challenge. Then I can finally get some tasty, tasty, absolutely delicious Slice. Big Ole, how you doing? Oh, mamma mia, and look at this lineup. And thanks for saving my humble little shop. But now, if you'll excuse me, I got a slice of the bank. I don't know why all of a sudden this time I gave it an Italian accent, but you know what? I'm cool with it. I'm fine. It's okay. All right, let's go back to the Wielder Tower, where everyone is probably absolutely terrified. Yo, I can climb up the surface now. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up a gosh darn second. I can... Yeah. Yo, I can do that now. Nice. I can walk along here. Oh, you know, I can walk down. I can walk up this too. Right? Yeah, get up there. Get on up there. Yes. What's over here? <gasps> oh, would you look at that? I'm going to clean. I'm going to. I'm going to clean. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll clean. I'm going to clean everything. I'm going to clean everything so good that you're gonna, not going to be able to tell different surfaces from each other because of how clean everything is. All right, and I go up, and then I go up, and then I, I do, 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 do. I can go down, right? Yep. And then I go up and around, and then up, here, and then around, wrap myself to the other side, and then bounce on over there. Doop. Do, 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 do. A brush style. It's a W. It stands for Wumbo. Maybe. I'll equip that on top. I want to see what that does. Quit. Let's try this letter. Oh, I see. It just kind of like... Ah. That's an absolute mess, but I appreciate it. Okay, and I'll just jump over here to there, and then... I don't want that style anymore. Nope. I can go this way, too. Oh, over here as well. Oh. Well, there must be some benefit to this. There we go. Get, get on. Get the little thing. Yeah. Let's take the little path down so it's easier. Do, 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 do. Okay, there's there seems to be more. There appears to be more. More to explore. I like things like this. As you gain more abilities to be able to explore the world around you, you actually get to like explore what there is to the world. What is this? What is this? What is the special spot? It's sparkly. What does that mean? Oh shiz! A gift! A biker jacket! I love that! Now a biker dude! That's so cool. I suppose I can get on top of this tower, can I? Yes. I can go around the side. Whoa, there's a dude up there! I want to talk to the dude! Or person! You know, whoever it is! Yo! Don't mind me, just gonna steal your shit up here. Googles! I like that. I'm going with goggles. Tamarind. Like an orange. Ooh, I don't usually see folks up here. I'm one of Picnic's transit flyers. I'm on break right now, though. So don't ask me to take you anywhere. The job's all right, I'd say. I'd love to fly, and 
Boy, howdy, I do lots of that now. You do get the rowdy jerk every now and then, but I'm a pretty sturdy gal. Flying folks around, you get the impression there's a real different picnic for everyone. To me, it's a tiny little province I can easily fly around, and even for most of the bigger animals, it's easy to climb anywhere from anywhere, so they don't transit much. But to the little ones like you, it's a sprawling expanse. Not to mention folks with limited mobility, and so I'm happy here to help out. I appreciate you. I like you. Keep doing what you do, Tamarind. Tamarind? Tamarind? I feel like I'm pronouncing it like my name. My name is Cameron, and I'm saying it as Tamarin. So it's like, it feels... Anyway. Is there trash on roofs? I could sit up there if I wanted to. Is there trash up on this roof? Nah, it doesn't seem like it. If there's trash on a roof somewhere, I will grab it. Nah, I don't see any more trash. This is convenient. All right, time to go back down. I suppose I gotta go back through here. Brew path. Brew path. Do 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 Nice. And I should be able to get around too. If you use the transit bench, you can see her taking you. Oh, there's more than just one ta a transit bench. I hope, right? If not, then I just totally missed that. <laughs> I'm sure there's more. I'm gonna try to look for one in luncheon, perhaps. Or I'll rather, I will be on note of where I will find them next. Who's in here again? Yeah, what are you doing, gar garlic? Hey, garlic. The, the fact that you just found me now, it must be a sign. You see, I'm a hat maker. I make hats. But after today, I'll be known as the greatest hat maker in the world. For you see, after working restlessly for years, I've developed a technique to make any shape of hat. You don't believe me. You think I'm crazy like everyone else. Well, I'll prove it to you. Please, let me make you the hat of your dreams. Okay. If you're gonna get all right up about it, I am more than happy to just let you do your thing, dude. Yes! I want to disappoint you. First, I want you to design a hat. And let me assure you, it can be any shape you dream. Okay. I would like a square. Rectangles are fine. And then switch that. Let's put... Oh, you know what? Check that out. Take that out. Make it small. I just wanted to say yes. This is the yes hat. I have named it so because... It says yes on it. Oh, that was a pretty weird looking S. Yes! It's so bombastic of a hat that it's popping right out of the borders. Finished? Yeah. Yes! It is done! I got custom hat. I'll wear it right now. <laughs> it says yes. Do you see my genius? So many sleepless nights to make this a reality. And now, I'll just... Pass out. Oh! Hey, your custom hat! Isn't it perfect? It's yes, it's it's great. Alright. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna make it different a little bit. I kinda wanna put something else on. Oh, how do I no? What am I why can't I change? Am I not clicking the right button? There we go. I I'll, I'll put a hat on for now. Big fungus? Big fungus. Nope, big fungus, please. Big fungus. There we go. All right. Cool with that. Hey, luncheon. Oh, I could just completely skip the cave, enti cave entirely. Beautiful. Oh, it looks like there's a little area to explore over here. Ah. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is cute. Oh, the music got so soft. I like that. And there's a little gift. A backwards cap! That's even cooler than a regular cap! Nice! How 
Have I been in this house before? Oh, this is my house. I forgot. No, that's fine. I don't need to be home. Okay. Everything is getting a little crazy. Isn't that right, guys? Right, guys? Okay, guys. I can't I can't jump the fence. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh wow, there is there are vines everywhere. This is tumultuous. Truly unfortunate. All right, well, I guess I'll go investigate that, right? Somebody's got to do it, and I, as the wielder, must do so. Ah, I see. I got to go up. So let's go up. It's a little spooky over here. We got to take care of that, or else people will be afraid. Check are you at the top. Blackberry! Hey, buddy. What's it? Holy spagodles. That's a lot of eyeballs. Hey, Blackberry. You're disappointed, aren't you? I'm very disappointed. That's what I thought. This is the largest corruption I've ever seen. It sprouted here so suddenly. You won't be able to enter this as you are now. Your bond with the brush isn't strong enough. Go back down. Speak to Chicory. Oh. That must be where the final boss is fought. Right? 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 Right. Guess I'll talk to Chicory then. Uh, Chicory? Got a question for you. Ch Chicory? Uh, can you hear me? Are you... Okay. I mean, I know you're probably not. Chicory, something horrible is going on. The Black Forest is sprouting everywhere. And it's starting to look and talk like me too. It isn't safe here anymore. Please. You gotta come out. Please. Chicory, are you? Oh, the door's open. Oh, my, 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 would you look at that? Can I, can I make paints? Nope. Oh, this is heartbreaking. Oh, <gasps> that's my picture. It really does look like Chicory. I'm not a very bad artist after all. Very proud of that. I'm so glad that she kept it. Oh, Chicory? Do you exist here only? Oh. Can I give you a nice circle? No, okay. No, no circle time. Is there more to explore over here? No, okay. I, I should probably focus on the task at hand. You... You came back. Chicory, you need to get out of this tower. It's not safe anymore. Something horrible is happening here. I'm what's happening here. I told you. All of this came from me. I'm just a broken, messed up person. You can't save me from this. The sooner you abandon me, the better off you'll be. Chicory, Chicory, I, none of that is true. The last time I saw the darkness, it... Why won't you listen to me? It's all my fault. It's all my fault. All my fault. Chicory. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, yep. That looks painful. Very painful. No. Okay. Oh, wow. I should completely avoid the lines of pain. Can I paint upon it? No. Okay. All right. That's fine. Okay. Oh, dear. Whoa. Gee whiz. What do you... What do you do? Oh, my God. Go in the center. Okay. All right. This is, this is doable. Not like here. Okay. And then go across. And... Uh, I don't know what's... Woo! Okay. Oh, it bit down like a chomp or whatever. What are you doing? What you doing? Um, what are you doing? Um, oh, Chicory, please listen. This darkness isn't just you. It started looking and speaking like me too. It must be something else. Then why did it all come out when I had the brush? Why did all the color vanish? You think you did that? Uh, no, but... Stop making excuses for me. My entire reign as wielder was a mistake. The only good thing I ever did was pass it on to you. Please forget about me. I'll just make everything worse. No, Chicory, please, please come back. No, I believe in you, Chicory. I do. Don't be so down on yourself, but you will be. I understand. It's it's a much easier said than done. I completely understand being trapped in like a pit of depression such as that. It is not a fun feeling. I understand that. But we can work through it, Chicory. I believe that we can. Okay. I believe, I have absolute faith that we could do that. 
Wow. Honestly, I think this is a wonderful metaphor for how you, I would feel if I were in a terrible, terrible mood like that. There have definitely been points in my life where everything felt like it was just kind of crumbling down and that I was at the source of it all. I am the type of person who blames himself for most things, so I absolutely understand where Chicory is coming from here. Chicory, you... You, you really think I'm a better wielder than you? Of course you are. But... When I saw that part of you in the swamp, you said you regretted giving the brush to me. I regret a lot of things. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I'd say something so stupid. Just another mistake. Nothing good comes from me. Why would you even want me around? Because you're my friend, Chicory. And everyone goes through hard times. That's why I want you around. What is that? Whoa, okay. Whoa, alrighty. Whoa, there's two of them. I understand. No, oh my goodness. Zoop. It's okay to not be okay. I don't remember who said that first. That's definitely a phrase that I've heard people say. But it is totally okay not to be okay. And it's not your it's not always your fault that you're the one who's feeling bad. Oh, what is going on? Don't I don't like. Don't like. Whoa, hi. Hi bunny rabbit. Hi chicory. Chicory biggery. Chicky hickory dickory dock. The the, the the rabbit with the with the paintbrush. Chicory! Just go! You're better off without me! All these problems are coming from me! I don't care where they come from! I can't face it all alone anymore! I need your help! I won't abandon you! So stop asking me to! Please! I'm not going anywhere! I'm here! Just breathe. Okay. We can get through it. We can. Whew. It's pretty deep. Mental health is a serious concern. Remember that. You... You've seen yourself in there, too? Yeah. It spoke like it was me. And said stuff I was thinking. So, something came from me. But if it came from you, and from me, too, then it's from something common between us. Must have been... The brush. The brush? When I was wielding the brush, it's like it was connected to me. The more my bond with it grew, the more I could do with it to shape and color reality. But I wonder if it made more things real than just that. Sushi Mac, I'm so, so sorry for whatever you heard in the swamp. That's not who I want to be. When those corruptions talk to me, it's like all my self-doubts come to life, reminding me of every mistake I've made. Chicory, you're so much more than that. It hurts to hear you talk about yourself that way. I forgive you. I just wish I could help. Well, m more than that, I want to be your friend. <laughs> I thought by now you hated me. I thought you hated me! I'm so sorry. I just dropped you into this giant mess. I need to be better. I'm gonna try. But I need you to wield the brush. And I will. I will take this burden for you, Chicory. For I am Protag. And that's how Protag do. And that appears to be the end of Chapter 6. In this, this colorful tale of chicory that is where i am going to leave things for today i hope that everybody has had at least a wonderful couple of hours and that we all remember to chill out every once in a while this game so far has kind of brought up a couple of thoughts like mental health 
political things and whatnot, and just a lot about, just kind of a lot about mindfulness, I think. And that whatever you're feeling, you can figure out what it is. And even if you don't, it's okay to say you don't know. It's okay to not be okay sometimes. I'm, had, I'm, I'm glad that for all who stuck around who enjoyed their stay, shout out to Angel. I'm glad you enjoyed your stay. I'm happy about that. Hope we can do this again sometime. Let me see if there's any of my pals on today. Doesn't seem like there is. So I'm just going to leave it right there. So thank you, everybody, for joining along. Party's over for now. Uh, yeah. Well, I hope you'll see you all again next time. This is love. I absolutely love this game very much. This is not something... This is not at all what I expected it to be. And I'm just glad that music has a way to get me involved with certain things. I would have never known about this game if not for finding out... Finding the music for Celeste on Spotify, so... Thank you, Spotify. Thank you, Lena Rain. Thank you all for coming. Whatever time zone you're in, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, your evening, your night, your twilight, your dawn, wherever you may be, the party may continue. Until next time, y'all. Peace out.